you can keep it in your <laughs> empty bottle. Please, this needs to stop. <laughs> this is too good. Convoy, I've had in my library for a while and I've wanted to play it. Magical Brickout, it's probably just Brickout, but I mean, it's probably fun. Robot Roller Derby looked weird. But like in a in a fun like indie way, so I, I'm curious to see what people think of that one. But anyway, we'll do that at the end of the stream. So if you're not here, it's okay. I'll I'll still whisper the key to you. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm going through this quick. This is good. I think it's gonna happen this time. Ooh -ho -ho -ho. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, he's hiding behind the the uh, smoke or, or cloud. Yes, yes. Bring an umbrella. <laughs> I got that wombo run. I. S that seriously was the ultimate Wombo run. <laughs> uh, that's how we throw... <laughs> well, fortunately, there's a whole new heck and shovel right over here. I brought a surprise. Look at this little baby. <laughs> this is my little fur baby. Well, hopefully, hopefully I don't have to worry too much. Man, that that's just kind of sucks though. It makes me worried that I can't keep this bot up because I don't want to give people keys that. Oh, hello. What's hip hop happening, everybody? We are. Gonna play some gash dang Yankee King Jr. Among other things, we've got I I fully expect to get through a just an absolute ridiculous amount of games tonight. Um but we're starting things off with the original arcade version of DK Jr. Um so we'll play through we'll do both the Japanese version and the English version. Uh I feel like compared to Classic Donkey Kong, these already look a lot more different in their, like, title screen, but I bet you they're probably pretty similar. Donkey Kong! What's up, Tef? How's it going, friend? Um, and then, as we found out last time, high score mode and caravan mode, I think maybe those could have been settings on the arcade boxes back in ye olden times. Um, but we'll, we'll come back to that if we have time at the end of the stream. But we've got... Yeah, it's so much stuff we can get through today. Donkey <laughs> Kong. <laughs> My vision isn't very good today. I should maybe make that text a little bit bigger. I had one of those moments where in the middle of the night, my eyes got too dry and I injured my eye. So now this eye is just blurry. This eye is fine though. Anyway. Let's jump into the Japanese version. Donkey Kong Jr. is so different and so cool. Oh, look, Miyamoto's name is on here. <laughs> That's fun. Enjoying a cool stream for my birthday. That's right. Happy birthday, Tef. Ah, oh, I should have said something in the Discord. But I, I hope you had a good birthday so far. I. I hope you did something fun too, like <laughs> not just hang out over here. Get key from Mario. Save your papa. Confirmed Mario is truly the villain. So I don't know exactly how many screens there are in this one, uh, but we do have a jump button still. 
And I think this first screen is fairly straightforward. Okay, so the red guys, woo! Red guys go up and down. Ah. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the blue guys can drop from anywhere, oh boy. Nice and toasty right off the bat. Okay. Whoop. What? Ah, dang it! I fell from too far. Hey, what's up, Chad? Oh, you know what? I know why. It's so hard for me to read everything. I forgot to change the uh, screen scale of my other monitor. That would do it. Uh, I was like, I know I'm extra blind today, but not. It's not usually that bad. Ah, oh, so much better. How you doing, Chad? So instead of Jumpman, now it's <laughs> Jump Pop. Jump, jump Pop A. <laughs> oh, Jump, Jump Ape. That's right. Well, maybe I'm still not good at reading, despite, <laughs> despite all the, the things. Apparently edibles make me really sleepy. It's also the start of my week off. Hell yeah! Well, good. I'm glad that you're you're gonna be able to enjoy your week off. Edibles make a lot of people super sleepy. Um, Jen will often eat them toward the end of the night, and she's like, even if she feels even a little bit like high from it. Whoops. Well, that's that's it. She's like, it's just gonna knock me out. So she'll she'll eat edibles pretty much whenever she's really stressed and needs to like calm down so that she can get some real rest which I think is totally legit but you're definitely not alone there Chad Woo! well man I was doing okay the first time <laughs> I made one silly mistake it's okay we had very few lives left oops gosh so this is this is the legit arcade version. Um, we're playing this on the Switch with the like, uh, what do they call it? It's like arcade. I forget what they call it. But basically the group of folks that remade the arcade games in the most legit way possible. Hey, what's up, Skip? I love this game. DK Jr. is is pretty fantastic. I I actually think I like it more than Classic DK. Nice. Ooh, get out of here! Woo! Woo! Oh gosh. Woo -hoo. Okay. Okay, who needs all those bananas? Not me. I wonder if the blue guy can get me from over there. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, we got the first key. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I had it. Really want to see you play this game. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if I climb up only one side there. Oh, okay. I don't know how you can tell when they are about to drop eggs. Okay, but I'm safe here. Nope, jumped way too soon. We're gonna pitch I can get your thoughts on a quick, quick pitch I'm working for. For a new game idea, I guess. Sure, absolutely. I will preface it though to say that I think high concept ideas for games are not very important. Uh, so I will definitely give you legitimate feedback on on your pitch. 
But at the end of the day, what makes a good game is good development. You could take a terrible, terrible high concept idea and turn it into an amazing game. Um, but you can't take an amazing pitch and turn it into an amazing game. Okay. Oh boy. Will they ever go? Oh, yep. There it is. I don't know how you can tell. Where oh, they'll be. A one-room top-down shooter in rogue-like where luck doesn't matter and it's only over when it's over. I don't know if I fully understand, to be totally honest. So, roguelike kind of comes with a couple of notions, right? And randomization is a key element of roguelike. So if you don't have randomization, it's not a roguelike, uh, arguably. Um, Top-down shooter, I mean, that could mean any number of things, or a one-room top-down shooter. So I guess it, what really matters there is like, what what are you doing different with it? Like, what what makes it compelling for it to be a one-room top-down shooter? Um, because, oh, gosh, what was the name of that game? There was a game that came out not that long ago. I think it was called Tormentor X Punisher? I would check that out because it sounds very similar to what you might be describing. Um, but obviously there's still elements of luck in, in even that. Um, but I'm, I'd be curious to see if that's sort of along the same vein as, as what you're considering. Woo! Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, jeez. <laughs> An idea of where I wanted to go, and I've only worked on it for a while in Unity. Now I need to get swapped back to Game Maker because, <laughs> fact, Unity. Yeah, that's fair. Unity, Unity is a little bit tough sometimes because Unity, even like between Unity and Unreal Engine, Unity requires you to know more programming than UE4 does. Uh, and even less so for game makers, so I could see why that would get very complicated very quickly. I like it more than DK as well. Vine climbing mechanics is really compelling to me. Right? Yeah, I feel like the way that they use vertical space in this game just seems a lot more interesting. Um, whereas in the first game, the vertical space was all sort of treated in a very, not the same way, but in a very similar way. But yeah, I don't know. It's 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 good. I, I like this one a lot. Basically played Nuclear Throne for 20 hours in the past week and I got annoyed because I couldn't get the perfect build and I would reset when I got a bad build. It was similar, Shin feel. Gotcha, okay. When I say luck doesn't matter, you can get unlucky, but you never get unlucky in, to the point where you destroy your build. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I would argue that Oh, interesting. I could just jump straight onto that platform. I would argue that it's a bit subjective, um, and especially in the realm of game design, uh, there's no way to know for sure what players will end up finding to be the optimal build or not. Um, I mean, obviously there's plenty of playtesting you can do to try to suss that out, uh, but you might end up being really surprised at what players feel is the best or strongest builds. Um, oh, I could not climb fast enough for that. Boy, this particular spot is tough. So, uh, like, I would, I would actually say that in the case, in the example, oops, in the example of Nuclear Throne, I, I don't think they ever intended for any of the random options in the builds to be particularly brutal. I think that was probably just a case of like some some features didn't end up being as useful to players and it just 
you may have gotten a combo that didn't just really work with your play style. The different play styles are going to handle different builds differently. Either way, I mean, I'd say go for it. I, I think that at the end of the day, all that really matters is is the execution. If you make something interesting and fun, then you're you're solid there. It's one of those kinds of high concepts that it really, I think, proves that point too. Like it all, everything about that high concept uh, hinges on what you actually make. I think those birds go in a pattern. Okay, I I thought that they might. I should just sit and, and watch them for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, sh ah, dang it. I didn't mean to slide down that far. Whoop. Oh. Oops. There we go. Slow and steady. I guess that's a pretty positive place to land, though, all things considered. Alright, oh, that I can't get me down here. Oh, that's right, I gotta hurry up, we have a timer. Ooh, boy. Okay, okay. Come on, Vine Goo thing. Why is it so gooey looking? Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Oh, interesting. Oh! I think we climb faster when we're uh, in between. I didn't realize that. I thought we would have climbed faster if we were on just one. That's exactly what I mean. You can always get exactly what you want, but it'll take a while and also want to be fairly easy to get the ideal build. You have to work to maintain it. So, I guess the question then is, ooh, hey, nice. Uh, with that, that logic, does that mean that you the player can like, pre sort of preset their build uh, or is it like the same exact things will drop every single time oh dang it ah. oh climb faster on two descend faster on one okay that that makes sense yeah i knew we descended fast but i I think I didn't realize that it was only on one. Well, I beat Shigeru Miyamoto, so I'll take it. All right, all right. This is the one. Not sure to be entirely honest thinking of just giving them a lot of guns and options. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say there's there's nothing wrong with that. Ah! Oh my goodness. Eee! Eee! Oh no! Oh! Probably shouldn't have jumped. I think it's because I didn't have the momentum before I started moving. <laughs> Take that, you weird little lizard? 
blue and red crocodiles climbing on vines. I'm not really sure what these guys are, to be honest. <laughs> eee! Whoop! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God! Uh, I keep grabbing onto the vines when I'm retreating, and I don't mean to. Uh, I should probably just die. enemy you kill may have a different gun interesting I mean so then the question is are the enemies always going to be in the same pattern or will they be random because then there still is randomization in that case but then the guns go oh but then where do the guns go I see Quoting a little of that famous clock passage in the beginning there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. Anyways, I'll be chilling out of chat working on some weird design questions. I'll be back later. Sounds good. Thanks for swinging by, Fox. Perhaps the origin of the Kong's beef with crocodiles. Ooh. I never never would have connected those dots but y yeah i guess maybe oh that's so weird this looks like toy chattering tea things bigger and just bigger and as crocodiles they absolutely do oh man i kind of love that though that this could be the the origin of the the beef with crocodiles <laughs> still weird that they're climbing on vines but eh you know we, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> but it, we are in the jungle this time, too, which I guess I didn't even really think about. Ooh! I didn't think about that, but maybe that's why DK Jr. knew where to go when uh, after he got his dad back. I'm just like, why did Mario take Donkey Kong back to the jungle whilst in a cage unless unless DK escaped got back to the jungle procreated made a baby DK and then Mario came back to steal him I feel like that would make the most sense right all right low Low, high, low, low, okay, high, low, low, high, low, low, high, should be two lows. What? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we did it. Hey, Drewby. How you doing, bud? Chris, what's good, my man? Everything's good, my man. Keep going to Mario's hideout. Mario's secret hideout. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Oh no. Wow. What the heck? I'm not ready for this. Would luck not be a deciding factor? Be better thing to add to the one line hook? Um, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's other people that would probably like that. I guess you could say like a more you would I think maybe a, an alternative way to describe it would be um, skill based usually when it's skill based it's remove it's that notion typically means the removal of random luck um, but that's also debatable too it all depends on really what you're trying to argue is the you know the boon of the game <laughs> but that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Except it was confirmed. 
I mean, it was at least confirmed that DK Jr. is the DK from the Kong series. Mario's hideout. Is, this is amazing. <laughs> Apparently fixing game made by really good game designers is really hard. <laughs> I mean, eh, it's not too surprising. Previous level that if you're really crazy, you can press the jump button just as you land on the spring to bounce higher and go, skip straight to the moving platform. I did it successfully once. And I was like, boy, this is stressful. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I can't believe they're doing this to me. Oh, no. Okay. So I got to watch for the blue sparks. And then the yellow spinny guys are the ones that loop. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, and the blue sparks are... There's a break in when they spawn. Shit! I'm worried, though. Can I... I don't think I can jump. Can I? Is this just a pure timing situation? Oh, I can jump. Okay, I was genuinely concerned that that was like electricity that would just kill me. This music is uh, <laughs> top notch. <sighs> Shit! Oh, gosh. We got one more life. This is quite an electric fence Mario's got, right? No kidding. Jeez. This is quite a level. Get out of there! Okay! Okay! Ugh. Oh no. Okay. So it was two, four, <laughs> three. One, now two, oh shit, four, one, I might just be pure random. Go, 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 why are you stopping? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god! No, Mario! Dang you! Oh, poor DK. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I gotta push all these locks all the way up to the top. Or keys up to the top. <laughs> oh gosh. another life oh thank goodness nervous that still won't be enough but hey I'll take what I can get gotta watch for those crocodiles Okay, okay. Gonna keep just going on this side, huh? Ah! Ah, damn it! Shit! It's doing okay. So many things to avoid. No kidding. Ah, oh, man. I did so well. But not well enough. I like my DJ Jr. more than, or 
I like DK Jr. more than I was expecting. I know, right? Isn't it cool? Uh, sure. I guess let's register my name online and embarrass myself. I feel like DK Jr. probably ate even more quarters than the original. Oh, I fully expect that it did. For game ideas that I have is that I have a roguelike where you never feel like you have the reset and you can get your ideal build quickly, but you can lose it easily and is about maintaining it. It's a question that got me to think about designing the game. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. That's pretty much what you described earlier. Yeah, but I don't think that's a bad idea. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go over here. Oh, okay. No, nope, never mind. I guess maybe that guy won't. Woo! Go on. Yeah, that, that vine. Oh, ah, bleh. Please don't die. Oh. <sighs> Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, baby! Those crocs moving off to the left, though, while I'm up here is really nice. I feel like that's totally the intention, though, considering this is level one. Ah. Not good enough. Do 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 Especially in the transfer over to Game Maker. I still have yet to make anything in Game Maker. Um, people have made some pretty dang cool stuff in there. Okay, okay. Oh my god, that was way too close for comfort. Oh no! Oh, ho, 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 ho. just barely grab onto that. ran out the clock there. Be back at some point in, in... If not, have a great rest of your night. You too, Fox. So are we going to be playing DK Junior Ports like the original game? And how far do you expect to get into the list tonight? So we're definitely going to play the DK Junior Ports as well. Uh, there's far fewer ports for DK Junior compared to uh, original Donkey Kong. Um, whoa! And, you know... We, we may end up not spending quite as much time <laughs> if I'm like really, woo, ah, oh, damn it. If I'm really struggling on some of them. Um, but I think we're at least gonna get through DK Jr. and all the ports. I think we'll get through the Game & Watch games. And uh, I, I think we might even have time to get through like the uh, D Donkey Kong 2 and uh, and probably DK3. I I could be way too optimistic though in that estimate, so I guess time will tell. I had a hell of a time on this 
this first game though, so I guess it's gonna take a little bit longer than I expected. Oh, I just want to skip it, but you can't do that in the arcade game. But yeah, as far as the list is concerned, I have... I literally, just before the stream started, bought Donkey Kong Jr. Math just in case we actually end up getting that far in the list tonight. I don't know if that'll happen, <laughs> but it's it's there and ready to go. Hey, <laughs> take that, Mario. Do math with Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's it's terrible. <laughs> I tested it out just to be like, okay, let's make sure the download whoa was successful, and uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be really really silly. But you know what? I'm excited for it. I feel like it almost always goes low, low, high. <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> Not every time, unless that one was considered low, <laughs> but man, sure didn't feel that way. Oh, all right, we have three lives. Then we can laugh it out. Chris does math. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I will make a fool of myself with some of it. I'm not, I'm not usually bad at math, but you know, on stream I might panic. Ah. I can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I could use those apples to get rid of the uh, yellow guys too. I feel like, why not? Man, that super fast yellow one really stresses me out. Shit! I actually probably don't need to jump there, do I? I probably would have been safe if I hadn't done that. Oh gosh, okay, yep, we're good, we're good. Just gonna wait for a break. I've asked for a better one. Yep, that's it. How many parents actually bought DK Junior Math thinking it would help their kids learn math? Probably far too many, to be totally honest. Or maybe not enough. Maybe that's why Nintendo didn't make more. <laughs> it uh certainly doesn't feel like it was well received. Frog Fractions, if you play that game, Chris. Oh boy, have I. I need to play the sequel to Frog Fractions, though. I uh I have it, but I never booted it up for some reason. Doot, doot. 
Yeah, get those bananas. Woo! He did not go the way I thought he would. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh god, oh, no. Sometimes I jump straight up thinking that I already have the momentum to jump left or right, and I definitely don't. So, not ironic. Good math game is Math Blaster. Anyone else have that game as a kid? I absolutely played the hell out of Math Blaster as a kid. I loved that one. Number Munchers. That sounds very fam oh, no. It sounds very familiar. Uh, I'm pretty sure I played it, and I'm pretty sure I liked that one. But I, I don't remember that one super well. Uh, one of my favorite math games growing up was, uh, what was it called? Treasure Math Storm? Mountain Treasure Math Storm? It was something like that. Basically, you're like a dwarf or elf. I think you're like an elf climbing this, like, mountain, winter mountain full of treasure. No! Should have stayed low. I knew better than that. But I played that game like crazy. I dreamed of of getting every single treasure I could, and it uh it didn't happen. I came close though. Maybe I did finally once upon a time get it. Whoop. But I'm too young. I was too young to remember it. <laughs> It's one of those games I played well into my teenage years because I was like, I need the satisfaction of, of completing this game. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. This one's... What? I was so sure. I was so sure that it was going to go high. That's okay. That was a pretty bad run, all things considered. But how are there two Marios here? <laughs> this is weird. Is it Mario Mario and Mario Lu or Luigi Mario? Before Luigi had his own colors? <laughs> Sucker. Oh. Oh no! Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't use this controller. It doesn't seem to want to always respond to my inputs. Either that or I'm like doing it weird. Can you take a break on that slightly longer vine immediately to the right of the one that has the apple? Like if you climb down it enough, can the birds not get you? I think I think you're right. Oops. Oh, apparently it did keep track of all those credits I inserted. What is the Chris shirt tonight? Here, I'll show you. It's it's really stupid. <laughs> I think I've worn this on, on stream once before. Um, oh, that's not the right one. Uh, camera. Here we go. So it says American Slang, which is one of my friend's bands. And I, I bought this shirt because of how insane it is that they basically completely stole the Iron Maiden, uh, uh, like al one of their album covers. <laughs> It just left their own logo on it. I was like, oh my god, you guys are going to get in so much trouble for this. I have to buy this. Oops, I forgot to put this tape up. I was like, I have to buy this before it gets forever removed from the store. And that way, if they ever get famous, I've got the exclusive illegally made merch. I'm going to say it looks so much like Iron Maiden art. Oh yeah, 
it's basically like a really <laughs> a really like cruddy uh rip off of that art and the print quality itself is like not very good it's like kind of blurry <laughs> it's so funny to me and uh my my friend when he saw that i bought it he was like i i did not endorse this decision oh gosh immediately here let's just <laughs> reset he was like, I did not endorse this. I didn't want it. Then they went and made it anyway. And he, uh, when I bought their album that also released ar around the same time, he uh, sent me a, a second shirt. <laughs> he was like, please, I just want to get rid of them. Chris, that's illegal. Not for me to buy. It's illegal for them to make. <laughs> I guess I could just do this. Woo! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. Oh, I should mention, by the way, if I seem a little low energy, it's uh, I got it's because I got my COVID shot on Thursday and I had a 102 or bigger, greater than 102 fever. Uh, it was not very fun, but I'm feeling normal, at least mostly normal now. Ah, damn it all, oh, son of a gun. So if I seem a little low energy, just wanna put it out there. I only just barely got better again. Ah, oh, gosh, I gotta stop pushing that button. I know better than that, and I keep doing it anyway. Oh, are you kidding me with this? Oh! <sighs> if I lose a life on the first screen, I feel like we might as well restart. One or two is pretty bad, right? I have not had a fever that high in a very, very long time. And, you know, like, I was still working on Friday. Um, I didn't take the day off because I woke up and I was like, yeah, I honestly feel kind of okay. Like, I don't feel too cruddy at all. Um, and then by, like, 3 o'clock... Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Sometimes he doesn't want to... By three o'clock, I basically was dead to the world. And I was like, man, this this really went downhill quickly. <laughs> and then I checked my temp just to be like, well, let me see where I'm at. And the temp was 102.2. And I was like, oh, <laughs> well then, I should probably take a uh, fever reducer <laughs> and put an ice pack on my head and maybe lay down for a little bit. So I immediately stopped working and uh, chilled out for the rest of the night. <laughs> that was that was a little bit wild. I still had it. The Advil helped, but I still woke up with a fever, and I was like, "Oh gosh, I don't want to cancel the stream, but we'll see." And then, probably about like three o'clock today, I was like, "Hey, my fever's gone. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> I guess I can stream." You know, I wonder if I kill any of these guys. Oh no! Will they just like be forever dead? Get hit with the vaccine kickback? I got lucky with that. I I was so certain that I I was in the clear, uh, on day two, because I was I was feeling good, like I was working, like I did my job very well first thing in the morning, like. I was so certain. And then when I started getting a little achy, I was like, ah, whatever. It's a little bit of body ache. That's fine. And yeah, no, it it hit me harder than it hit Jen. Ah, no. Nah, damn it. Yeah, I don't know if I can get low enough on that. Ooh. 
I think the one with the apple I can't get low enough to avoid it. Uh, but I was hoping... Whoa! Oh, I just slid too fast that time. This is the stage of me figuring out a game, though, where I'm, I'm like, poking and prodding stuff. I'm just trying to figure out the intricacies, so I'm gonna start dying more often until I suddenly stop dying as often. <laughs> which is a... <laughs> which might sound like absolute BS, and maybe it is. But that's my excuse. Oh yeah, but that's also why I uh, have temporarily paused the uh, become DK point redeem because uh, I don't really want to tempt fate by putting a very uh, heavily insulated uh, DK hat on <laughs> whilst also in a hot room uh, considering the fear of the returning fever. Gatorade is something that tends to help recover from being sick. Yeah, I, I definitely should have picked up stuff like that. Uh, I probably could have even asked Jen to get some for me, but I was just, oh gosh, too confident that I was gonna <laughs> be completely fine and, and side effect free, and boy was I wrong. They definitely seem to go high far less frequently than they go low. Yeah, what's up, Mario? You can't stop me! Yeah, Fever plus Hot Mask is no good. Yeah. It reads really... Because of the electrolytes. Yeah, exactly. Come on. There you go, bud. I don't know why I like that little tune so much. It sticks in my brain, though. Go, 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 damn it! I'm getting better at this screen, at least. <laughs> okay. Could have spaced that out a little bit better, but we're okay. Ah, <sighs> alright. We're on the final level, final screen with all of our lives. Surely. Surely, victory is within reach. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh man, I didn't know I could lower the keys. Oops. Oh gosh. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gosh. No bird brains here. Woo! One more. Yes. For some reason, the birds keep freaking me out as if they are. Oh gosh, this is definitely the harder one. As if they're going to. Ah, no! That rightmost one is the most difficult because it's hard to predict where the birds are going to fly through. So I think I'm going to start with that one. Thank you. 
God damn it, dude! How do you do that, man? I mean, I guess I could just get it most of the way up there. Maybe that'll be good enough. Okay, let's scoot this way. Oh, the birds also fly in on the left side as well. Although not as often as the right side, so I guess it's at least that. Uh. Okay, okay. Of course, we've got two lizard boys here. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Thank you for the GGs. Boy, the three lives really is what, what carried me through that because it gave me enough time to figure out the nuances or some of the nuances of that. Woo, boy. Ah, well. <laughs> What a way to lose my last life. What a great game. I know, right? I really like this one. This is this has been fun. Koreas. Boom. Nice. Yeah, put my score up there. Okay. Well, let's check out the English version. We don't necessarily have to beat it, because I assume it's pretty much all the same. But, you never know. I figure we'll do at least one run on this one. See if we can uh, see any nuances. Son of a gun! Yeah! Oh no! Come on, man! I'm heading left on this D-pad. Maybe these deep. <laughs> Maybe these controllers are not as as great as I hoped they would be. I'm using the, the little Switch NES controllers. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let's let's just. Probably change the screen order. Ah, I could see that. Yeah, because that's what they did with the other DK game, right? Today. Ah, he got me good. This would definitely be a weird way to change the screen order, though. Like, imagine if we go to Mario's hideout next. That wouldn't really make any sense from a, like, narrative standpoint, you know? I guess we'll see. Whoop. Oh, okay, of course. Go the other way. 
Shit! I mean, maybe they changed the patterns a little bit here. Yeah, maybe I'm like letting go of the direction as I'm jumping. Don't know why I would do that. Okay. Hey. <laughs> they really improved the original game's design with this game. Yeah, right. Wouldn't make sense from a narrative standpoint, but it would get you to the hardest level faster and kill you and take your quarter. Oh gosh, okay. So they threw us right into this. Yeah, so maybe what they do is is kind of what some of the other games did where the we loop uh and after we loop that's when we see new screens. Gosh, that is mean. Just go over here. Dang. Crocodiles is the basis for DK's enemy in the DK country and beyond. I mean, it could be. That's what we were saying earlier. It, I, I would not at all be surprised if that's where Rare got the idea from. Son of a gun. I was so sure, so sure that that one would turn right at the top. And the bird enemies too? Yeah! I mean, I, I kind of like that. I feel like, oh, we only get our three initials. That's another difference. Do, 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 do. Well, let's do one more run then. Yeah, sure. Because I want to see how they add the new screens in. Because even back then it was all about the monetization. Oh, yes. Without a doubt. Oh my gosh. It's fine. And yeah, the DK Country games used so much from the original games and never even realized. Right? Well, this this is what I mean, though. This is why I love the Chrono streams, because you get to see, like, how these things are all intertwined. Makes those games even more impressive because they took the elements from the original games and made them fully iconic. Oh, yes. CMW, Chris is one of the... the one step better than the PMW. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> One whole letter rank higher. <laughs> or, or worse, I guess, depending on how you look at that. <laughs> One letter grade worse. Uh, leave me alone. Ah, woo. Go! Go! It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this first screen is, is harder in the English version. Oh gosh. Oh, it's... Weirdly, jumping over that ledge is more difficult than it should be. Oh, 
It's fine. It's fine. It's usually the de design philosophy for arcade games back then. Level level one lets you kind of have fun and learn the controls. Then level two kills you. Yo, oh, absolutely. <laughs> and in this case, uh, level four <laughs> just kills you. And you get to, you have to earn the easier levels by surviving and putting your quarters in the machine. Though to be fair, woo! I still think level two is pretty. Oh my gosh, it's pretty dang hard. All right, all right. <laughs> we'll give it one more go, and then we'll switch to one of the ports. So ominous. Well, at least we can't die from sliding down these vines super quick. Also, I'm very happy that this is a safe spot right here. Oh, just kidding. I didn't I try to go back. I promise. But I didn't do it. This is my chance. Never had a better opportunity. I didn't get points for that. What a ripoff. Do or do not, there is no try, Chris. <laughs> Nod said sagely. I mean, you're right. You're right. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The heck? Which one? When do they fly around the top? Oh gosh. Oh, you know what? Let's not go that way. <laughs> oh, should I try going this way? Uh, nope. I wonder if I could have gone higher there. Oh, goodness gracious. This is a quarter, quarter muncher. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> this is brutal. Ham. All right. Well, let's let's move on. <laughs> I'm I'm really happy that we did the Japanese version first, though. I would not have thought that it would have been easier, uh, but here we are. But anyway, next up, we've got the different ports. Whoa, my controller. All right, first up in the list, we've got the ColecoVision version, which apparently came out before the Atari 2600 version, which seems 
weird to me. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it's 1983. Um, well, I guess even with the originals, the ColecoVision, maybe it actually did come out before the Atari version, because all I could get for the Atari 2600 version was a year. This, for DK Jr., though, I actually got more specific dates. Um, so the Coleco version was 1983 in Fe February. The Atari 2600 version was September. So here we go. This is actually me. I think. Oh, so oh, it is. Now we're not getting audio. I don't think. Let me make sure. Do I hear anything when I do this? Yes, okay. Yeah, let's reset this. Give me a little prompt to unmute. Get ready, player one. Yeah, okay, let's just reset this whole, or refresh this whole browser. Crocodiles look mean in this port. Oh, yes. I feel like the lower resolution it gets, the meaner a lot of things tend to look in these, these old games. There we go, now we got some audio. Oh, I guess my jump button is space. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, nope. Yeah, oh no, okay. Oh gosh, jumping is weird. Ah, woo, ah. Nope, I do not want to fall off, thank you. Oh gosh. Feels like he jumped so far. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well that's good to remember that we jump significantly further than we do in the original game. It'll just take some recalibration in my brain. Hell yeah. What's up, Mario? Coleco had the rights to create ports for the DK and DK Jr. They actually handled the Atari 2600 ports, and then some people theorize that they made the non Coleco vision ports as well. Or on purpose. Or worse, on purpose. Oh, interesting. I would have never thought about that, but it's a, I feel like that's a pretty good theory. Well, this already feels significantly easier than the English version of uh, the arcade game. It's because there's just fewer birds. Well, and I guess fewer crocodile things. I wonder if they're supposed to be snakes, but they don't... They don't really look and feel like snakes. Yep, you're not gonna trick me. Oh, ah! Do, 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 do. Mario sporting a nice fedora for some reason. <laughs> I absolutely had that thought of like, he absolutely has a look of like a wild beast tamer. Like in the outback or something. Did I get all my lives back? That seems weird. Maybe not, maybe yes. Maybe I didn't lose any this time. I don't know what's happening. Oh, nope. I love that, that look, that like wide-eyed like, whoa, whoa. Oh, 
We actually have to climb it ourselves this time. <laughs> In the arcade version, he automatically climbs the, the final vine. That fedora, I think it looks more like one of those Australian ads. Yes! Oh gosh, here we go. That was 100% what I was thinking too. Oh gosh, I hate this. I hate this already. Ugh. It's cute. I like that song. Okay, okay. Is this one? I don't think this one's gonna lower. Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I need you to climb more. DK Junes. Oh! I definitely fell. But I... Apparently was okay. So much easier when there are fewer enemies. <laughs> okay, okay. Gonna wait for them to cycle. I'm gonna jump. And everything will be okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it's definitely doing the thing where uh, as we cycle, they start adding new new screens. Gonna just wait for that guy to pass. Okay, they can go down all the way to the ground though this time. That's good to know. Maybe they do that in the original by phase two. All right, where's this crocodile going? Back over here. Oh, I guess maybe the red ones always go in the same directions. Dang it. Nice. Alright, let's just knock this one out. Weirdly feels more difficult because of the, the blue crocs. Okay, got those side ones done. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Sorry, I'm falling behind in chat because I can't pause. Oh. Definitely clicked off the game for a second there. Alright, now the real question is, do they add the fourth screen? on the gun. Or is this gonna be it? I will say, this is a pretty dang good port now that we've been poking in it for a little bit. Like, it feels pretty good, all things considered. Especially thinking back to the other DK, like, classic ports. Got it! Oh boy! Here the birds are pterodactyls. Yo, that's just a theory, a theory about gaming. Thanks for tuning in. Oh gosh. 
I don't know if they'll give us the, the jump boost on the spring here. I don't know if it's uh, smart enough to, to do that. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. Is that it? Okay, we still have one more life. Okay, okay. We can do this. We've done it before. We can do it again. Easy peasy. Let's go a little bit higher there. There we go. Yeah, I think they always go sort of in the same spot, so if we just stay high the whole time, we're pretty much okay there. That's kind of funny. It is more probably just following the US screen order where you go through the loop to get to the levels. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it only has the three screens. I mean, that makes sense. That's how it was with the, uh, the other classic DK port. It was pretty rare to see the, uh, the cement pie factory. Can I do it? Ah, oh, man. Oh gosh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. Hey, do 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 do. Yeah, look at that. Two full loops. We're already doing better on this version than the uh, even the Japanese arcade version. Too easy. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whoop. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah. oh. Well, there it is. What a way to lose. Uh, I guess we'll see. Aussie slouch hat. Is that what they're called? Nice. ColecoVision is enough to render the the lowering vines? No, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, I know so little about the ColecoVision that I, I kind of forget how old it is. But this is a, a pretty uh, firm reminder. The birds aren't dropping eggs, that helps. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, the lack of egg dropping was a pretty, pretty stark difference. Okay, so that was the ColecoVision uh, version. Now we get to see the even better Atari 2600 version. Oh my god. Uh, what was it before? F12? Yeah, there it is. Oh no. Cement pie, it's an easy recipe, but it makes for a rather heavy meal. <laughs> oh, here. Oh no. Oh gosh, it's horrible. <laughs> Wow, the level design's different too. Look at this. Hey, but you know what? They at least kept with the uh, the two vine situation with you going faster going up on two vines and faster going down on one. What the hell? I didn't think it would reach. Ah. 
Fine, whatever, man. Get, get off of it, DK Jr. Oh my god! I hate it. Restart. <laughs> this looks like a jank FNAF minigame rather than a Nintendo port. To be fair, the FNAF minigames were totally inspired by Atari 2600. But oh my gosh. But you're absolutely right, it does look like a super jank FNAF game. No, 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 okay. Maybe they don't ever go down that vine because that would be really mean. I don't think I will put my trust in that though. Yeah, what's up? You're not tricking me this time. Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, okay, straight to the key stage. What the hell?! Come on, man! You didn't even give me a fighting chance! Go up! Oh my god! I hate it! Are the birds only on the bottom? That's fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. This game... This game is absolutely insane. Because Coleco did this port. Uh, yeah. You can definitely tell. You thought the purple guy was evil. Wait till you see the actions of the brownish red man. Oh, whoa! They have Mario's hideout in this one. Okay, that was kind of unexpected. Shit! Oh. Okay, I'm safe there, apparently. Ah, damn it! Should have just stayed in the middle and jumped it straight up. Oh, mm. yep, that's a choice I made. Do I have another life? Oh, I do. Look at that. Go, 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 go. What? But it didn't get me last time. I'm confused. Oh. To be fair, Mario's hideout looks super simple and easy to code in this version. I That's fair. This version had three screens. Wow. All right. So I wonder if they're sort of treating Mario's hideout as the actual final level? This is a little weird, but I guess we can, oh, brutal. They will send rocks down that vine. Oh, it's not the one I want. I swear. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> Whoops. Oh, wait, what did I do? Oh man! What does F11 do? Oh, it's game select. Oh! Uh... Huh. I don't know what that all means, but I don't... I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, and I don't think I'll be able to jump across that platform. I think I have to climb this vine no matter what. Oh, oh my god! Pretty much need to just hold up. 
and not try to run away from it. It's my mistake. I keep holding the right arrow key instead of up. DK Jr. on the Atari, aka Sasquatch <laughs> rescues Gingerbread Man from Mario. <laughs> it's, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, we released DK here. Yeah, it's interesting. So they have us jump in order to, uh... Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. Oh, that was bad timing. This is a particularly hard screen. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it lets me through. Maybe I just need to, like, keep holding up on that? Well, apparently not for that one. They won't let me hang off the other side, either. Maybe it literally is the position of our leg? Oh my god. I mean, maybe. That would be... Oh my god, is it really that simple? I think it might be. That's absolutely bonkers to me. Okay, well that one, it doesn't matter. Cool. That's cool. I feel like that's just inconsistent feedback at that point. Oh no! Fine, be that way. Well, at least we figured out that it's the legs for, uh. Oops. The legs for the first couple. Please, please, no. Not like this. Not like this! Okay. Go, 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 go! Oh, not the day. <laughs> I mean, this screen is super easy, at least. Maybe it gets harder, I don't know. Like in future loops. It's just so cute. I can't not like that little theme. Okay. Okay. Too slow that time. Still not really sure how we're going to get it. Get through this, though. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Hey, hey, all right. Whoa, hey. Just narrow. Ah, there's the cycle. All right, cool. We did it! We completed a loop! Gosh dang- oh, gosh. I think I still have one more life. That's what those blips up there are. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We good, we good. I almost made a drastic error there. All right, I'm really curious to see if this screen ends up being any different. Oh, I think we got another one up. Hell yeah. Yeah, 
don't know. This seems pretty much the same. Maybe the birds are a little bit faster, but also maybe not. Oh no! I didn't mean to jump off. I just accidentally tapped the button twice. Man, how embarrassing to die on this screen. Oof. Good old Mario's hideout. My favorite place. Oh! Whoop. Okay. Gotta go quick, quick, quick. Ah! One more life? Nice. Oh, whoa, I don't know what I just did there, but whatever it was, video game did not like it. Yes, two loops. <laughs> Mario's hideout, the happening night spot. <laughs> nice, we're on loop three now. Oh, that's what the modes were. It was the loop and also if it was one or two players. It kind of doesn't feel like it gets much... Whoop. Yeah. I think we actually got another life. It doesn't feel like it gets that much harder, though, on each loop. Like, maybe this screen does because the, the snakes get a little bit more frequent? I don't think they get faster. But, like... The, uh, the DK key screen definitely feels about the same. And so does uh, Mario's hideout. Whoop! Oh, look at that! Okay. It does get harder. Look at I'm so happy that they actually did something with this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I, I stand corrected. I feel like it took them a little long to uh, make things challenging on this screen, but hey. Sometimes late is better than never. What? You can't just do that. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Hey, I got another life. They also give us one-ups like crazy. It is kind of funny, though, seeing it, this game, because I feel like it already, out of the box, feels a lot kinder to the player than, uh, oh gosh, than original Donkey Kong. Shit! Oh, I had it! Should have just went for it. It was right there. Well, that's uh, Atari 2600 Mario. Next on to the Atari 8-bit system. All right, F4. Be patient, gameplay will start. What you want me to believe. There it is. Okay, Alt key is our jump this time. Come on, scroll down. Now it's too far. Perfect. Here, we'll just like... Skewed everything over a little bit. That way I'm not blocking it. All right, start for one player game. One player level one game. 
select to change players and option to change starting level. So just jump into this bad boy. Oh, we might not get audio for this one. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That's fine. I will say, whoop, graphically it is drastically better than uh, the Atari 2600 version. I'll give them that. Oh, I can pause. Oh, that's really nice. Well, Purple Kong. Oh, yeah, we are purple. Weird. I wonder if that was just because that's the color palette they had available. <laughs> Sucker. Whoop! Ah! That's okay. That was a pretty, pretty bad first run, anyway. My little guy. I know you want to go down. Well, now he goes down when I no longer have the time. Ah, oh, man! Weird how there's bricks holding up the grassy platforms. Oh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's super weird. <laughs> it feels very uh almost like Sonic in that way. Oh nice, I got the guy in the middle platform. Bananas. I love that the fruit doubles as a weapon. You'd think that he would just want to eat it. But nah, he's like, I will just kill other creatures. Oh, no! Oh, man, I hit the jump button, but response time is real. Leaves a lot to be desired. Ooh. Okay, okay, that's a little close for comfort. Whoop! Ah. All right, all right, that's fine. Oh, right. Nice, nice. Okay. I might have been safe, but I honestly just didn't really want to risk it. Okay. Sometimes one of the 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 let that that croc in particular go through that that block and so now I'm just constantly nervous that they'll just go through and bite me there we go there we go that's my opening it's trying to grab that vine no oh, ah man Kill Crocs by dropping bananas on them somehow. Give them the steel banana slammer. <laughs> That's right. Well, hey, I mean, like in Donkey Kong Country, they are huge bananas. So maybe, uh, maybe they are just some big beefy bananas. Ah, oh, pop. ah, damn it, they do go through. Maybe they could do that in the arcade version, I just never realized. Or I just immediately forgot. That's the more likely of the two options. Okay, yeah. I think these are blue and purple, uh, but I definitely have a harder time seeing the difference between these two colors. Oh, ah, yee, ah! Oh, I didn't think I was holding that vine. All right, this one's a little bit tougher. Oop. Okay, okay. Yep. 
There's that guy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now we go up. Son of a gun. Yeah, I kind of feel like I have to do a, uh, a side jump in order to grab the vines in this one. I feel like the uh, straight up and down jump feels unreliable. Okay, okay. You know what? Maybe I'll just hang out here. Yeah, there we go. Yes! All right. Screen one, done. This version really seems hard. This is definitely not easy, that's for sure. Oh, boy. Now we're back to the good old-fashioned version of this level. Oh, ah, whoa! I didn't do it. There we go. Son of a gun. They have no shortage of crocs running up and down these chains. Go down. Oh boy. Oh, I think he'll reach me. Oh, that's mean. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Ah, ooh, ah. God, God, oh God. No! Damn it! The particular croc should not be able to bite your feet while you're on the vine. Right! There's a couple of them that have been like that. Okay, okay. Wow! Thought I'd be quick enough. That's okay, that's okay. Will I make it? Yeah, I will. Okay, 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 okie dokie. Uh, ah, dang it. <sighs> well, at least killing myself and restarting is not terribly long. Double whammy? Yeah! Look at that. Son of a gun. I was so proud of myself. Oh my goodness. I was like, maybe I'll get an, a one up here. We're doing so well. And then I threw it all away. Come on, go down, go down. There you go. Yeah, I have to hit that jump button way earlier than I previously had to. Shit. Shit. Ah! Okay. Not gonna worry about the fruits, just gonna worry about getting the heck out of here with me pappy. And get out of this godforsaken jungle. Woo! Oh boy, did not feel like I was gonna make that jump. Choppy frame rate of the game definitely isn't helping. No, definitely not. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Boom. One key done. Do 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 Gosh, okay. Yep, that's cool with me. Very, very cool with me. Please, no crocs. Please, no crocs. Ah, that's a croc. <sighs> ah, oh. I'm very happy, though, that the crocs do not fall down. 
and uh you know run amok down here it's certainly a a saving grace of this one oh oh my god i killed the bird yes oh sweet justice Go, 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 go. Yeah, baby. I got a one-up too, I think. <laughs> DK just punches him away. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Oh, gosh. DK, you don't look great here. Oh, my God. Really? They're just throwing a, a purple guy on this vine now too? Brutal. No, you know what? I don't need the fruit. Okay, okay. Oh my god! Fine. Everything's fine. We're okay. Just a little bit upset. Oh god. Go 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 go. Okay, okay, we bopped one guy. Good, good, good. Oh, go go go. Yes. Now's my chance. Yeah, baby. Nice quadruple combo there. That was so amazing. I never expected that to work out so well oh boy okay oh dang it well that's that sucks <laughs> uh how do we change like hmm. i don't know if there's a way to change Like, I don't know if there's an option button. Oh, there it is. Level three game. Sure. Let's jump into a level three game. See what happens. I mean, at this point, we definitely saw all the screens, but, you know. Ah! I figure why not. Oh, okay. Why not give it one spicy run? Okay, okay, that's Man, I feel like this version of the game really requires you to uh, climb this single, oops, the single vine a lot more often. Nope. Nope. Not today. Son of a gun. All right, one more. Now, you know what? I feel like I'm better off just waiting with this first one. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Do 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 Please no. Not like this. Can I? Oh my gosh. Oh no! I was so close. So close to victory. Ooh, hello opening. Ah. Okay, okay. Oh ho ho. Oh ho. Where are we going? There's so many blue boys. Uh, oh man. Man, that curb really is just mean. Also super weird that now whoop, all of a sudden that other purple guy that spawns right over there is taking a little bit to load it. Oh. All right, let's move on to the next one. <laughs>
All right, next on the list, we've got the Famicom version on the Switch. So we'll go back over to this bad boy. Notice that I uh, figured out how to make it not a total struggle to zoom back and forth between uh, like audio stuffs. Okay, so obviously we're playing this one on the, the Switch Online or Nintendo Online. Beep, beep, beep. Um, Donkey Kong Jr. Do, 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 This is the version I'm most familiar with. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Because the, the NES version of most of these games would probably be the ones that are just most accessible, right? Ah, I do love when they give me a pause function. Oh! Oh! I didn't think I'd be able to make that jump. Gosh, DK does not feel like he jumps very... very high here. These guys also feel like they're just going way slower. Oh! Will this guy not climb a vine? Interesting. So I think they're forcing us to jump him. What the heck? Oh, gosh. You have to, like, get a running start in order to jump that curb. So mean. Woo! The nice thing about the jumping in this version, though, is that, uh... I think it keeps the horizontal movement going. Whereas in... Oh, he does go down. Just takes him a ridiculously long time. Um, whereas in the other, like, especially classic DK, if you don't, like, land on a platform or something uh, within the next tile over, you uh, you automatically will go into, the, like, the, the death drop. Whereas in this one, it doesn't necessarily feel like they'll do that. Like, if you grab a vine or something, it'll it'll work out. Shit. Yeah, I deserve that. Difficulty curve on this one is quite a bit softer than the arcade version. Yeah, without a doubt. Oh man, I really thought maybe I would grab that vine. I feel like I'm getting the timing on that spring a little bit better, though. Because both times I was able to do the tall jump. Unless this time it might always do the tall jump. I feel like probably not, but... Ah! I made the same mistake again! Should just wait for that cycle to loop. Pro tip in this one, you don't have to time your button presses to bounce off the high <laughs> spring. You can just hold down the jump button. Oh! I see. Okay. That is pretty nice. Yeehaw! These guys still look pretty dang weird though. I guess they are probably supposed to be snakes seeing them in this version. They still look so silly. Maybe I have to like go down to convince him to go down the vine? Eh? Come on, come get me. Yeah, there you go. you're gonna go all the way over here. Come on, my little red. What the heck? You can just go through the wall, that's not fair. Come on. I don't want to jump over you. There he goes. Whew. Slow and steady. Yeah, baby! Whoa. Oh, 
Okay. Here comes the spicy part. Go, 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 go! Okay, I feel like the timing is a little bit gentler here, too. As long as we dodge the first couple. Woo! Oh, hello. Didn't expect to grab that, but it did. Also, these vines absolutely look like chains. Oh boy, okay, here we go with this one again. Oh wow, I think the time between the sparks are a lot wider. Nice. Oh my god! Did not think I was going to make that. I jumped way too soon. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Wait for that spark to go. Oh! Got another one going. Whew! All right! <gasps> oh, come on, he tricked me! That's fine. We still have two lives. There are definitely fewer birds here, though, which is kind of nice. Oh my gosh. Well, we got it most of the way. It's fine. I'll take it. Whoa. Spazzing out there a little bit. Okay, so I wonder if the birds always go in the same loop. I just didn't expect that that curve to be so uh, tight. Or so wide, I mean. Not tight. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Go, 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 go! <laughs> yeah! Do, 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 Take that, Mario, you piece of jerk. Oh my goodness, I didn't even hear the notification. Oh, oh there it is. God. Oh my god. 14 gosh dang months. Holy shit balls, Batman. What's up, Snake? How you doing, bud? Thank you so much for 14 months. How you doing, bud? How's your day today? Takes a couple of loops before it gets as hectic as the arcade. Yeah, that makes sense. That was kind of what, what I was anticipating, too. Based on the canon of this game, this game is using, does King K. Rule work for Mario? I mean, it's possible. I feel like King K. Rule just happened to be like another jerk that shit like isn't he a pirate in the first game so maybe he's just kind of doing the same thing that mario was doing trying to steal well i guess he wasn't trying to steal ah, imprison apes but he was uh certainly stealing everyone's bananas like the, the big old golden bananas well i guess they're not golden they're just big bananas and again what would a Crocodile want Ooh. with big bananas. Hmm. Well, now I need bonus life. <laughs> Come on, little man. Come on. Come down here. Yeah. Yeah, Adam. Where are you going? Over here? That's my chance. Huh! There we go. It has been awesome. I was hung over and got my laundry done. Got to play the video games most of today. My PS4 friends got me at GTA Online. Hey, nice. 
That, I mean, that sounds pretty excellent. Honestly, not too different from my day uh, in that my day was spent playing Fire Emblem most of the day because I had a fever <laughs> all morning. But I feel good now. I actually just keep feeling better as... Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's a bummer. I keep feeling better as the day goes on. DK64, he steals apes though? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe he's just like, I'm fed up. Oh, ah, oh. Oh. Well, I mean, we saw the screens. I almost feel bad. Well, I guess let's do game B. I assume this is just the harder mode, but oh, why not? It's 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 an option here. Might as well check it out. Whoa! But yeah, maybe by uh, DK64, he's just like the only way to stop these apes from stealing back their bananas is to steal them. Well, ah, ah, no! Ah! <laughs> it, did, it didn't work, but it also kind of did. <laughs> take that, Mario. Crocodiles are exclusively carnivores. Yeah, I feel like they've got to be, right? I have a hard time imagining them as omnivores, uh, but I guess it's possible. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go! <sighs> Whoa, ah! That vine throws me off every time. They're obligatory carnivores, I believe, like cats. Yeah, that oh makes sense. God. Hey! Oh my god! Kavika, aloha, my dude. 31 months. That's still... I'm, you're at this the point where like, I have a hard time fathoming <laughs> that anyone's been subbed that long. Kavika, how you doing, my friend? I, I hope things have settled down a bit where you're at. And also, thank you so much for 31 months. It it really means a lot. We're uh we're in the middle of of Donkey Kong Jr. on the NES right now. We're doing Game B right now, which is harder, but actually not not that bad. Whoa, gosh, I was not sure I would make that. Oh, I don't think there's as so there's not like a a long gap between sparks um, like there was in the arcade version, but there's generally just a gap. Oh, Whew, okay, okay, we're doing all right. I think I can do this. I'm gonna wait for that spark to go though. Hell yeah. Only five more months till three years. Yup. Of course, love this for you. Well, I, it seriously means a lot. Wife and I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine yesterday and we're super sick. So just staying in bed now. That was exactly why I was super sick too. I got the Moderna uh my first shot, I was totally fine. Had no reaction almost at all. Uh, and then I got my second shot on Thursday, and I had 102 fever all of the second half of yesterday, and I had a fever continued into this morning. Uh, but I feel great now. It's kind of weird that I was just like, now I pretty much feel normal again. This is great. To know your pain, j and Laid my ass out. Yeah, I've heard that that one's been pretty brutal on, on folks that get it. All right, let's, let's knock this one out. And we're gonna go, uh, you know what, fine. We'll go over here. 
<laughs> oh no! I thought I could get away! Ugh. This is why I try to go for that one first. Oh, oh, rocks have changed their mind. They're going to go this way instead. Oh, what the heck? Ah! 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 I hate these birds! It's fine. It's fine. It's good enough. Surely I'll be able to get it the rest of the way. So narrow. Ah. Maybe if I like pop one of those birds with that apple, my life will be a lot easier. Or the crocs, I suppose. Oh, this is stressful. Go, go, go! Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> There's a single dose, so I guess that's why. Yeah, that makes sense to me, too. Got lucky with the Moderna. Only reaction was stiff shoulder from the shot itself. Yeah, and I had that, and I was so sure that that was all it was going to be. And then, oh boy, that quickly changed. Yeah -hoo. Well, I'm happy to say that I was able to complete one loop on on game B. What? I very very much doubt. Well, I guess I have two lives still. Maybe it's possible. Come on. How come no points for the those those mad hops? Nice. Since we're moving and my wife has sickle cell trait, it was important to get it before hand for her. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's smart. That's very smart. Been able to get some pretty decent high scores on this port of DK Jr. in the past. It's oddly therapeutic once you get into a good groove. I I completely understand that. I Now that I kind of understand sort of the, the strategy and how to do this, I feel like I could see you kind of going through just the the loops as long as you... Aw, as long as you keep focus. <laughs> I clearly haven't quite gotten the groove yet, but I, 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 I've, I've gotten a taste of it. Gimme! Although this screen still stresses me out beyond belief. Uh, I might have been able to avoid him. All right, this is our last life. Yeah, now that I know the trick with the spring, bypassing that whole section makes this way easier. I I like that though. I feel like it makes a lot more sense of a spot for bypassing level part. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, compared to the similar like spot in a. Uh, the original Donkey Kong. Um, with the, s the spring... Oh no! Well, I guess that's it. Because there's that... There, there's the... You know, the conveyor belt kind of platforms, and then you can just jump and skip the entire, like, set of platforms. Um, I always thought that felt kind of weird to be able to do. But I guess in some of the ports it was a lot more difficult. Anyway... Uh, on to the next one. So, we've got one more port. Gotta change my TV back to the other screen, too. The last one is the Atari 7800.
Sounds great. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> Here, we're gonna... Just gonna crop out some of this nonsense. Oh, I guess there was a... Oh, I could have just done this. Does not sound amazing. Shall there be shower time? Hey, no worries, Skip. Hope you have a nice shower. All right. Z to start the game. Main button is X key. Secondary is Z key. Got it. Oh, that mouse out of the screen. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. What the heck? It took me a second to realize we were looking at classic DK. Get out of here. Donkey Kong Jr. There we go. Okay, that should be okay. Oh boy. No, it does not look very good. <laughs> Ooh, oh. It's that good old Atari 2600 sound chip, though. doesn't look like DK Jr. Yeah, I know. I, I, it took me a second to realize that I had the wrong one loaded up. I think I just messed up some of the hyperlinks I had saved. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, apparently I can just fall onto that platform. Oh, they're dropping eggs in this one, though. Oh, boy. Yo, God, my eyes hurt. Yeah, it's not, uh, not the best version. Oh, boy, I was not confident that I was going to reach that. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? Honestly, we're doing decent, all things considered. Ah, no! Damn you, bird egg dropping one! I didn't think I would keep moving. Oh, I think I can still get the high jump, though. Interesting. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Oh, they don't all drop the eggs. Oh, oh, I didn't think I was close enough. Okay, so I think they just loop, like, every other bird will uh, spit out an egg. Which actually makes that whole thing a lot easier to uh, maneuver around. I love his little run sounds. <laughs> All right, maybe. Ha! Yeah! Oh gosh! Oh boy! Oh, hey, that worked out. Okay, up 
down. Up. Down. Oh, okay, yeah, this is so much easier. Easy peasy. I love it when characters go over the, uh... Oh, whoa! The, like, scoreboard. <laughs> version isn't nearly the worst one that we've encountered tonight. It's true. Yeah, honestly, even this one, the way that this one plays is better than I expected it to be. Okay. <sighs> yeah, baby. Got those double points! Okay, okay. Uh... It looked like it got stuck for a second there, that was concerning. Oh boy, okay, okay. We can do this. Yeah! Yeah! Nice, we still got two lives. We're doing the Brazilian Steakhouse now that Illinois is in phase three and we're all vaccinated. I mean, I still have two weeks before I'm fully, uh, 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 gosh, what's it called? Uh, inoculated? Um, but I'm, I'm definitely down. Very happy that there are only two birds here. This makes my life a lot easier. Oh yeah! Changed up the tune just a little bit. Alright. Round two. Fight! <laughs> Ooh, I think we got an extra, extra monkey. What if this is the one that I end up getting the best score out of all of the other games? <laughs> that would just be silly. Shit, shit, shit! Oh, yeah, baby! <gasps> Still buy food and first drink? I, yeah, I mean, oh gosh. Yeah, I still died like a dummy here. Sound is frantic and makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a bell. Also, I too share this feel. It's that good old Atari 2600 chip. Oh gosh! I should really just jump on this vine from there. That's the much smarter, safer route. Oh no, are there new ones? Low. Medium? I. Oh gosh, okay. Well, at least it's still very predictable. Go, 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 go! Oh! Ah, I forgot that mine was there! It's like overlapping with the the score UI or our lives. Oh man. Come on, come back. Ah, oh, we got an egg. I feel like this is timed perfectly with that egg drop, and this is just mean. Ho 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 ho. Did not think that would work. Ah! Go, 
go, go, go, go, go, go. Wow. That was uh, an egregious error. Oh! No! I thought I could reach it. That Atari sound. Mario just straight up died in that end fall. <laughs> he did. Looks almost like they reused the sprite from DK1 when Mario dies. Oh, I could see that. Anyway, that's all the DK Jr. games. So, next up, I guess I could reset this screen. Although I'm sure I'll be blocking some of the stuff. So, after DK Jr., we've got the Game & Watch DK Jr. games. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, hope y'all are ready for this. Pshow! What? Oh, there it is. Pshow! So, first up, we've got, not, not this one. Um, let's see. So the normal Game & Watch DK Jr. game would be next. So it should be this one, I think? Oh yeah, baby. Here, let me just like... Yeah, we'll scale that up just a smidgen. Whoa. That, does that look good? <laughs> Love me the Game & Watch versions. They're so good. There's also Donkey Kong 2 that we have to hit before, I think Donkey Kong 2, yeah, Donkey Kong 2 did technically come out before DK3, um, but that's also a Game & Watch version. Okay, Game A. Oh, do I not have the screen selected? Game A. That's my jump, okay, that's my jump. Oh. Bonk. Whoop. Uh, I don't know at what point I'm supposed to jump, so I'm gonna guess. Okay, that was it. Nice. That is one key out of many. Ah, oh, dang it! I could have just been a smart boy and didn't do nothing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Just gonna go ahead. And... Slow and steady, bonk that guy in the head. There we go, that's number two. Uh, uh, it's pro Whoop. Oh, what? No! I probably want to be hanging out on the vines for these guys. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I don't think in these Game & Watch versions, I don't know if they ever give you whoop, more lives. Oh no, oh, I took too long. All right, all right, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Can I just reset? No, it's okay. Ooh. Wow, I, I did not actually think I'd get through that. Ah, shit. All right, well, at this point, I should just let myself die. Shall we're done? How was that 7800 version? It, you know, honestly, it was okay. In the end of it, I, I was kind of happy with it. I had fun, and uh, I did reasonably well. Of course, I was a total dummy the second in the second loop, but, eh, you know, we all make mistakes. Okay, hide to here for now. I wonder if they'll start throwing birds. Oh no, 
I missed it! Ah, oh, that counts as a miss, too. That's a bummer. Whoa! Ah, oh, dang it. All right, just restart. Also, that was a really quick shower. I don't know how, like, Jen, Jen showers that quick, too. I'm like, how do people shower that quick? That's not a judgment. I'm just, I'm impressed more than anything. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! Ah! I was trying to do the side jump, but it didn't work. Oh, you know what? I bet it's not a jump. I bet it's... It might just be moving to the left. I don't know, though. I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it seems fine. Look more or less identical to the NES version, just wider pixels. Yeah, that's. I would say that's pretty accurate. Uh, I don't know if I'll make that. Oh man, the bird went so much slower than I thought he would. Goodness gracious. It's doing okay. Whoops. Well, that's embarrassing. Just gonna gonna go ahead and reset real quick. Oh right, I can just hold on to that vine. What smart people do. Oh, I can't. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll experiment real quick. Yeah, I have to jump. Interesting. So it requires the. The left and the jump. Boy, that's tricky because... Ooh, I actually do have enough time to do that. Because sometimes it just wants to do, like, just the straight-up jump unless I time the inputs well enough. Yeah, so the trick is to hit left just before I hit jump. Oof, it's a little bit mean. Uh, you know what? I'll just hang out here. Why not? Shit! Oh, well. Um, I gotta time those jumps a lot better. You know what? I should just plan on jumping when it's in the middle. Uh, because by the time the jump completes, it'll be time. Nice. Oh, shit! Should have hung out on that vine. Oh, well. Doing okay that time. Woo! Oh wow, I'm surprised the bird didn't get me. Sometimes it's hard to tell when things will hurt you in game and watch games and when when you're in the safe zone. Oh I'll save you, Dad! I promise! All right, that's one. That's two. Much better this time. Actually timing these jumps like a smirk boy. Hit the jump button just barely too late. No birds, no birds. Uh, 
Ah, dang it! All because I hit the jump button like a dummy. Thinking I would attach to a vine. Silly Chris, there were no vines there. All right, that's number three. Am I safe here? Oh, I am safe there. I didn't think I would be. Okay, that's a little bit of a game changer. Yeah, baby! Father, I have saved you. Oh man, that's all we get. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, that was... That was gonna happen. Playing game and watch games is almost just like playing a game with a really low frame rate. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, that was... Uh, you know what? Let's try game B. It's just gonna be the harder version but why the heck not oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh wow right out the bat with that all of these rocks Ugh. ah all right all right we'll hang out here that's one Oh man. Oops. Oh, okay. We're all right. We're all right. We're not all right. Oh my gosh. That was my chance. Come on. Yeah. That's number two. Number three. Oh gosh, that was so much better than I thought it would have been. <laughs> oh, I love it when you can just bum rush it. Yes! <laughs> game B, more like game E Z. Oh, dang it. Well, that was that. <laughs> All right, so that was Game & Watch. Uh, now we've got the even cooler Game & Watch. This is the tabletop arcade. That's right. Much like the other tabletop arcade one. Here, let me reset this so I can crop it correctly. Here, you know, we'll just do, uh, we'll do one of these. I guess I could zoom in a little bit here, because otherwise it'll be kind of tough to see. So hopefully that does it for you guys. All right, we'll start with game A. Aw, yeah. So we get the key right away. They don't even try to hide it. Oh, uh, uh, I don't remember where the birds go. Okay, I think I'm okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, so the trick with this one is that we basically just have to bring the key to him. Uh, but if we miss, so he's waggling around his chains. And if we miss his chain, uh, then we have to go all the way back and get the key again. Because he, DK Jr. drops it in the water like a fool. Uh, we have to ride these uh, umbrellas down and then ride the balloons up. There we go. Got it. Uh, it's one chain. All right, bird be gone. Where's this bird going? Okay. Go down. I think the bird just goes across. Yeah, there we go. And then, obviously, each loop, you still have to go back and get the, uh... Gosh. I put myself in a bad spot. It's 
fine. It's fine. <sighs> Boy, that was tight. Got it. All right, that's two. Oh God. Man, that bird was right there. This is chaos. Oh god. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, that was it. It's okay. Where do I go? Where do I go? What the heck, man? That was mean. Ah! What the hell? I guess I could just jump those guys. No, that bird will get me. Oh, man. Okay. Whew, okay. Let me go for the lower balloon. Got it. All right, one more chain. All right. No bird. Birds. Birds aren't real. Oh, I regret this choice. Uh. Oh. Boo. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Where's my balloon? No! There were no balloons! Oh no, right at the last moment they start <laughs> they start taking away as many balloons. What? That counts as three misses. Oh maybe. Maybe that was my last life. Oh man. Don't know if I've ever seen this before. Too many birds. There's a lot of birds. Yeah, so this is uh I'm I guess I'm not sure who made this one. Unless Panorama is a company. I guess that would make sense. Um, but yeah, similar to the Coleco tabletop version, this was just like another tabletop version you could just like have, you know, at home on your little table. Boom. All right, that's one. I think if I jump, that's when I die. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the first two loops are not too brutal. By the third one, though, man, oh man, does it start getting tough. Come on, give me another balloon. There was no balloon. Oh, gosh. Yeah, maybe I should not trust that the balloons are going to show up like I have been. All right, there it is. There we go. It's all such a tricky timing game. Oh boy, that bird spawned in a very unfortunate spot. Yeah, this time I'm going to wait for those birds to pass before I jump down here. I'm not quite a crazy person. These guys are going to loop around. Umbrella. There we go. Come on, give me one more balloon. Give me a, give me a balloon. Yeah, I'm glad I hopped off when I did. I didn't realize that the balloon started getting more sporadic like that. Okay, okay, this is, this is my chance. Shit! It's fine. Everything's fine. Come on, 
Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't think he'd reach me there. It's okay. It's only our first death. Oh, that was the window. Ah, it's okay. Oh! Oops. I got a little uh, gung-ho there. Oh! I didn't know I had that token. I saw it, but I didn't actually think I could interact with it. All right. That's the third chain. We got one more. stay here for a second. Very happy that they at least keep you up in the air when you hit those jumps. Oh boy. <laughs> Double bird death. Take that, birdos. I missed the umbrella. All right, maybe we'll get another one. Oh, I just realized that there's a graphic of the balloon popping. Come on, DK. Yes! We saved him! Yeah! Yeah! It's so cute! We should probably just go back this way. <laughs> oh, got two birds with that one. Ah, oh, I should have known better. Coconuts. I guess we can just kind of like keep going back and forth on these. Oh, that was my chance. Son of a gun. Oh no! Oh, there I go. Pretty cool way to condense all the various gameplay elements of DK Jr. down on one screen. Right? I feel like this is a pretty clever version of the game. All right, let's see what game B is like. It looked like it changed the layout of the screen, but I don't, I think maybe I'm just going crazy. It probably just like refreshed the screen. So I don't think you would really change the screen in these games unless there was like a back or like a panel. Yeah, this seems exactly the same, just more difficult, as is tradition with Game B. Oh, right, that's not the one that I'm safe. Oh, oh gosh. I'm just happy that the birds can't get us when we're on the umbrellas or the balloons. That would be extra mean. At least I don't think they can. Oh gosh. Ah! <laughs> Weirdly, I do feel like this one feels a little bit kinder than the other Game & Watch game. Like, I feel like it's a lot easier to anticipate the timing of everything. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we only have one chain left. Still have another life. All right, all right. Things are actually looking pretty okay, all things considered. <laughs> oh, I absolutely could have grabbed that umbrella. That's fine. 
Because we got another one. Ah, man. That's a bummer. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. This is the, the winning stretch. Whoop. Damn it. So close and yet so far. All right. All right. Give me one more umbrella. There we go. It's a pretty good looking balloon right there. I, I, I had a feeling in my gut that I shouldn't have gone for that, and yet I did. Whoop! Hop! Heep! Hop! Oh boy, there are a lot of birds. Hey, but I bopped one at least. and careful with this one. And a nice low balloon. Shit. <laughs> Alright, well, it didn't work out. I was too careful. I don't know how I did so okay on the other ones, and here I'm just like, nope. I just want to win game B. I've never wanted anything like this in my life. Wow. Well, I certainly bopped a bunch of birds with that. Yes! There we go! Oh boy! <laughs> DK, just stop moving the chain up and down! <laughs> There we go. Oh, I don't think they let me jump off of the, uh... Oh! I don't know why I thought I'd be safe there. Well, anyway, that was the, uh, the two Game & Watch games. So, next up... We've got... Well, technically it would be the Donkey Kong card game. Uh, but that's going to be a whole different world of uh, things for me to figure out. So instead, we're going to skip that. And that's a that's one that's better off with other people. Ooh, so next up is actually Donkey Kong 2. That's right. I already mentioned that. And I immediately forgot. Here, let's reset this. I don't know why I put it over there. Here, scoot that for now. Uh, Donkey Kong 2. The only true version of Donkey Kong 2. Don't suppose anyone's remade the card game in Tabletop Sim? They have not, but I actually plan on remaking it in Tabletop Sim uh, because no one else has done it. I figure I might as well be the one to do it. And it, it I don't think it should be too hard because there are some fairly good quality assets you can find for it still. Um, like photos of it so either i'll like totally remake it um or i will just clean up like screenshots of it or something uh, and put it up on on tts so that that's why i'm not quite ready for that one yet because i need to uh go resource diving for it the donkey kong board game is on tabletop sim however um, that one I just need a friend to play it with. So we'll we'll probably have a day where all the the multiplayer games that or like the multiplayer only games for DK. Um or at least like the earlier ones, like the card games and stuff, we'll probably do that on like one day when I get like Tony here or something. 
So this is Donkey Kong 2. Where am I? Oh my goodness. So we're climbing power lines now, I guess. Oh, I have to hit up in order to move. Ooh boy. Oh, oh, I see. I wasn't sure where I would climb up on there. Oh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, well, found that out the hard way. Okay, okay. Ah, that's on me. I do love the different, like, single foot little positions the DK sprite has. Or the Donkey Kong Jr. sprite has. I think they're kind of cute. Oh. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, there's a platform above my head there. Ah, that'll do it. Well, at least we still have the old crocodiles squirming around over here. Okay. Just... Oh... I see. Oh, oh, it throws the key into a random spot. Oh man, this is tough. Or maybe it's not random. It might be, oh, it might be preset. This is kind of interesting. Do you even know this existed? I think I only knew about it uh, in passing a long time ago. Maybe the game dev stream year. Maybe game dev stream of you building the card game. I mean, I could definitely do that. I don't think it'll be terribly interesting on TTS, but that could still be kind of fun. Because I'm probably not going to do any kind of crazy scripting because it's a fairly simple card game, so you don't need to do a ton. Um, but I, I don't mind showing me setting up things in TTS. Just imagining the Radio Tom... <laughs> bursting in, but yeah, bursting in, going. Did somebody say board games? I mean, like, I probably should invite Tom to uh, join that stream because otherwise he will give me some sass. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. He like kicks the key up there. That's interesting. Oh man, that's mean. The positions of some of these get pretty uh pretty tough. I feel like it's a pretty good test of patience for sure. Oh, okay, yeah, so they all stay up there. Okay. Now now I kind of understand what I need to be doing here. This is starting to make a little bit more sense. Oh, I'm still up there. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I thought they would send me down automatically, but nope, I got to climb down. Of course, that only makes sense. Jeez. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can the birds get me over here? Oh, I don't think they can. Okay. So this is my, my safe space. Oh, 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 okay. I can't climb across these. Get it. Um, I can only go up and down these chains. Oof. Just got tripped up a couple of times there. Ah, oh, brutal. Now the question is, can I get two of those locks with one life left? True hard mode.
course, of course it's the one all the way to the side. Surprisingly few crocs. All right, I'll take that. I love Mario just kind of standing there looking at DK like, whoa, what do I do about this situation? Guess I'll just kind of see how it all pans out. Hansen is like, ah, oh, no, I was a dummy. The classic blunder. Mario is just being a total dummy. Okay. Electricity be gone. Shit! Oh, I can't jump there! Damn it! Ah! Yeah, there totally is like a little animation of the key getting kicked up there. Oh boy. Ah, well, I'm better off restarting. A new DK started as an arcade game, but I'm surprised at the number of arcade titles. Yeah, right? Well, that and even just like the, the Game & Watch and like the different variants and all the many ports. Imagine a lot of people probably don't realize how many games in between the original and the Donkey Kong Country games. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't even really fully realize that either, to, to be totally honest. Until uh, I started diving into the, the Chrono Stream criteria. Gosh. Okay. Slow and steady. Oh, damn it! Oh! Okay. Might actually be more safe here than I realize. Ooh, it's not the same placement every time. That's good to know. All right, that's one lock. Only died once. Wait for that spark to go. I assume though that spark on the platform I'm holding will still shock me, so I shouldn't Hang out there for too long. Weirdly, I feel like on the return trip, some of these clusters of enemies get a lot easier for a little bit. I think until like we're on the uh, the final lock. Okay, there we go. It's number two. All right, there we go. Oop, oop. And these definitely go at different paces too. Oh gosh, there's so many. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was lock number three where they start really ramping it up. Okay, there we go. Okay, slow and steady. There we go. One more lock. Oh boy. There we are. Wow, surprisingly empty up here. out here. Definitely felt like a swarm of crocs were incoming. That is so many birds. Holy shoot. Of course the last key is the fourth lock too. Get it! Yes! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh that's still cute. I'm happy with that. 
Oh, did they give me back one of my lives? They might have. Because I'm pretty sure I died twice, but it's only showing one death right now. That's kind of nice. It's not something that I feel Game & Watch games often do. I guess they, it could be based on the number of points I got also. Which I know some, some Game & Watch games definitely do that. Maybe they all do that and I just never realized. Because I never got far enough to, <laughs> to get rid of one of my misses. Oh gosh, yep. I felt my impending doom there. Oh, I guess those are number of lives and not number of misses. Oh, I guess they changed that up too. I feel like normally Game & Watch games show you... Oh gosh! Almost plummeted into disaster there. Oh, well that time I actually did. Alright, let's check out game B real quick. Oh boy. So far, it seems pretty much the same. Oop. Oop. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a little spicy. Oh boy. Of course. Ah. Ah. I just want to get through! The way they stagger these are so mean sometimes. Immediately jump. But yeah, we'll just ride out this crocodile swarm. There we go. I think they don't... In Game B, I don't think they remove as many enemies... Ugh. From the screen. Oh! Whoops. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it's definitely going faster now. Oh, shoot! Ah, ooh, actually, I didn't think I'd be able to get over there, but we were doomed to failure. Anyway, that's Donkey Kong 2. Now. If my list looks correct, I believe next up is Donkey Kong 3. So there's the two versions predominantly. Uh, there might be other ports, but I think at this point they stopped uh they stopped kind of porting this to different consoles, which is uh totally acceptable in my mind considering the quality of most of them. <laughs> um but yeah, we're going to jump into DK3. I had a feeling we'd burn through a bunch of the games today. Oh, it says controller 2? Hey, is that right? What is controller 1 right now? I don't know, we can... There we go. We'll just reset this. Oh, the other controller's right here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so first off, we'll jump into the classic arcade version. DK3 is kind of the blank sheet of the trilogy. Yeah, it definitely is. It, it, like, it's, it's pretty different, to be fair, but it also... What was it? Oh, I don't have my list anymore. I think it was either a year or two after uh, Donkey Kong Jr., I don't know that I've ever seen DK3. It's pretty different. Panzer Paladin, how's that game, Chris? It is awesome. I've only played it a little bit, um, but I, I held off on buying the digital copy because I got a physical copy from Limited Run Games, and I'm so happy I did. It's so cool. The, the box art is really neat. Um, but I played it while I was 
uh, slightly inebriated one night and didn't have the focus to play <laughs> to play Fire Emblem. Uh, and I played through a couple of levels, and it was hard, but I thought it was really cool. I think the game plays very, very smooth and is super fun. All right, let's start off in the Japanese version. It keeps weirding me out that there's no uh, audio on the, the, like, spray Donkey Kong. On the, like, uh, what do you call it, the, like, advertising screen. So we play as, I forget his name. Oh, that's right, we have to protect the, uh, our plants. Oh, gosh. No! No! Well. Stanley! Stanley the Bugman! Uh, and, you know, when we lose, he just gets devoured by bugs. A totally reasonable outcome. Oh, right, they shoot things! Oh my gosh. Eat him. What the fuck is going on in this game? <laughs> Isn't it wild? Yeah, DK is just punching some, some beehives like, heck you. Wait, where are my plants? Oh, I only have two plants down there. Bet you didn't expect Donkey Kong to turn into a, a shooter, did ya? The 3D effect of the bees going in the background is pretty impressive. Yeah, right? I really like it. No bonus. Oh, oh my god, that was nearly my death. Oh, ah, I got coconutted. I think that was my last life. Yep, there it is. Well... You know, I feel like that's just how it's supposed to go, right? For the uh, the first run of any arcade game, you're supposed to die pretty early. Hey, look at that. I have another score on here. Wow, my other score is significantly better. This game is nuts. <laughs> Got coconutted. This game is absolutely nuts. Ah, oh, God! Can't let them steal my turnips. My turnips! Oh man. Oh god, when they sting him, he like swells up real bad too. Oh, that's where my lads are. It's the the bug sprays in the left corner. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Ooh. Come on, come on, we can kill him! No, I had it! Ah, I'll get through this. His coconut gun can fire and spurts if he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country, or 64 I guess. They, they, they finally tied in the full arcade series together. Well, I keep beating this after I lose all my lives. Kind of taking the jumping of DK and shooting of Space Invaders and combining them. I hey, still got a perfect score though. I'll take that. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that though. Oh, I don't want to shoot those. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. That that's fine. World's most deadly bees. They must be from Australia. Everything in Australia will kill you. No, I don't. Uh, that's not my name. Uh, wow, that's apparently my second best score. Yeah. Just put zero there. Spray Donkey Kong to the top. There we go. Round one complete. Get him, get him, get him. Yes! There we go. That's that's the loop right there. Love how the beehives just fall down and it's fine. Your name registered. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. <laughs> just a blank. Ah! 
Oh my gosh. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, ah. Ah, your worms. Oh my gosh. They stay there so long. I did it! Oh, is that it? Is it only two screens? <laughs> Stanley looking like a doofus. Perfect. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess it is only two screens. Well, I guess maybe at first. There's definitely new, new bugs this time around though. Oh my god! <laughs> Everything's exploding. Give me back my stuff. No! Ah! It's fine. I don't want that turnip anyway. Oh, 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 oh. I just got devoured. That's cool. Stanley's first and last game as far as I'm aware. I, I think it is. I certainly don't know of any other games that Stanley shows up. Although, I wouldn't be super surprised if he has, like, a cameo in a... Oh, God. Ugh. That's so mean. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a cameo in, in random games. Yes, there we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow, the super bug spray. Are you kidding me? We still can die after we win? Oh, that's so mean. Wait, I apparently got a life back. Oh, this is a new screen. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Ah, ah, there's so much happening. Okay, so, oh, ah. Ooh, we got spitters, we got spitters. Yeah, I wanna stay directly underneath those guys when they explode. I hate, hate these worm boys. Ah, ah, no. Oh, it's so hard. Because a trophy in Smash Bros. That, that's pretty legit. I can see that. All the bug spray and the the bum is bothering me. I mean, that's that's fair. <laughs> wow, still not better than the other score I had. I don't even know what that run was like. I didn't think I tested this that much. All right, let's do one more run. I guess we don't even know for sure that we've seen all the screens, to be fair. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah! Blasted through that. Oh! Ah! Oh! Hey, nice! Wow, that went way better than I thought it would. It is kind of weird that we're using bug spray to fight an ape. It's bothering DK2, hence why he's trying to get away from it. <laughs> Fair. That, that checks out. It definitely behooves us to be nice and close to him because we get more, more, uh, like, faster shots. Ah! Oh boy. Ah! Oh my gosh. <sighs> so stressful. Ah! 
Go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't think... I thought DK moved back down, but I, I guess he might not. Oh my gosh. Oh, no! Damn it. Oh, nice! I didn't think we'd be able to just, like, power through that. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Okay, alright. I feel better about that one. This game is like multitasking incarnate without a doubt. It's absolutely insane. Oh, wow, I still had the super spray for a little bit there. I didn't know that's how that worked. There we go. Oh, I don't think we have Super Spray in this stage! Ah, oh. Brutal. Eh! Stop spitting at me! Ah, damn it all! Alright, still got, still got two more lives. Sprayer of... Deltamethrin would not be the first thing I reached to repel a gorilla. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, I messed up already. It's a bad start. Damn it, you stupid bug spitter! I just want to see the next screen. <sighs> Played it too fast and loose there. Those little blips on the uh, the lower right represent. I have no idea how I got a better score. Maybe I just like spent more time killing bugs in one of the previous runs that I did. <laughs> okay, well now I've got a pretty good strat to just like power through these first couple of screens at least. Hehehe. <laughs> Easy peasy. Perfect. Oh man, I could have used that to maybe kill these guys. So close now! Ah! Caterpillars. Ooh, I guess the screen really isn't that bad. The tough thing here is that we actually have to jump in order to reach him. So that's, I feel like that's a good, the game doing a good job teaching us like that that's something we should be paying attention to. Oh, interesting. I think these plants are getting bigger as time goes on. Oh my gosh. Ah! My turnips! I don't even know if that's what these are. It's fine, I don't care about it. Although I think it, we do get a game over if we, oh gosh. If we run out of, or oh no, damn it all. Yeah, if we run out of turnips, it's game over for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I was so close. So close. I feel like if I've heard my Roomba just going out there for the last, like, half an hour. What is going on out there? There we go.
I mean, that's that's pretty good headway. Oh gosh. Please. No bugs. No bugs. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh gosh. Ah, no! Oh, I got an extra one up though. Of course, now I'm not gonna have the super spray. Ah. It's weirdly very tough to jump up these platforms when they're like, woo, blocked out very specifically like that. I guess if you're, oh gosh, really deliberate about when you're shooting. Uh, yeah, that one's, that one's a goner. This is a really, really tough. Oh, I think he does climb back down in this level. Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Very slightly better than the last round. <laughs> Oops! No! Just trying to... Oh, right. All right. We're going to do it. There we go. Stanley has a very dangerous job, without a doubt. Weird game, but seems fairly engaging. Yeah, I... I mean, I definitely like it. Wow! I didn't think we'd be able to just power through that one. Well, that was delightful. So I think the number of blips in the lower right corner of the screen, I think that's what level we're on. Wow, and I still had some of the, the super juice. I really like that that carries over between screens. That's the strat. Yeah, absolutely. I can't believe how good that is. Oh, and now it respawned. Oh, very interesting how that works. Ha ha ha, yeah! <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, then we just got a one-up. Perfect. Come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him! Well, we certainly made good headway. Oh, so I can shoot the worms back up there. Oh, that's... Oh, no! That's really good, though. So I can prevent the worms from getting onto the platforms, because I can't kill the worms once they're down, but if I shoot them back up the tree, then they don't get in my way as bad. This is definitely like micromanaging the game now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So hard. Carrying your super spray between screens. Oh yeah, absolutely. I need those. I need that stupid bug. Ah, well, I'm dead anyway. Stanley, we're sending you into this customer's greenhouse. You're to chase out the gigantic gorilla. They also have colonies of the world's most deadly bees that will eat you in 
any given chance. Also, protect the client's flowers. All the equipment we can spare you is this sprayer. Good luck. <laughs> it's kind of how it feels. Hey, I finally got a better score this time. I'll put my name on there. Boom. I will register my score. Thank you very much. Are there ports of this game? There is just the NES version as far as I know of. I feel like this game has the most potential for some truly awful ports. Yeah, I don't think it really happened. There's just the NES port and then also the PC-88 port. The PC-88 port though, is that the one that uh, never officially released? Or or was that one of the official ones and I'm thinking of the the supposed sequel to this game? That was a little, a little scary. I remember seeing uh, the, the quote-unquote possible sequel to this game and thinking that it looked absolutely crazy. I think that maybe we start getting more points from these from these plants um, as they like oh no I thought I was far enough away as they like bloom Stanley a chimp nah Stanley is a person he's a people looked like a chimp when he was dancing <laughs> I mean that's pretty fair oh no come on Stanley at least wear a suit or something to, like, protect you against the boogs. Alright, that's a little bit better. It's the one with the Japanese title that somebody posted in the Discord a while back. Yeah, that, that's what I'm wondering, too. That's the one, definitely the one that I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, so close, and yet so far. I can't believe I just ran right into it. I saw it and I thought I would get past it, but I absolutely misjudged that trajectory. It's so hard. PC-88 version wasn't the unfinished, as far as I'm aware. Oh, okay. Oh man, I didn't realize that one was out there. I poked around, I guess I didn't poke around as much with, uh, oops, with DK3, because I thought there were only the two. But yeah, I guess I was wrong. Man, come in. Oh no! Let's just restart that one. Hi, Chris. Actually, this game reminds me of Galaga or Gyrus. What's up, B? Yeah, I, I mean, I could definitely see that. It, uh, it's sort of a weird combo of, of some old arcade games like that. Nice. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so it was 500 per turn up the first time around. I think they're flowers. <laughs> I, I don't know why I want them to be turnips. They're 500 this time too. Yeah, so maybe they're not worth more. Maybe they're worth more after they bloom. I know the perfect score increases. Boy, that was risky business. Ah, damn it! Ah. Love this game. I can remember playing this in the arcade. Ooh, nice. When was it published? Yeah, I think it was 1983. I think, I think Skip is right. Yes, 
Okay. Man, getting that spray really is a game changer. It's too bad that it doesn't just respawn, but it would probably make things a little too easy if it did. Well, ever so slightly better this time around. Worms be gone! <laughs> There's so many bugs. No, 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 no. You stay out of here. Oh, gosh, these stupid caterpillars. <laughs> I'm never going to get past this screen. I mean, if I can get the bug spray in this stage... Bleh. Oh, I thought I could push it. Okay, okay. Bug spray is back. It only means good business for us. Come on. Yes! Go, 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 go! Yes! Ooh. No bonus, but I don't care. Hey, I recognize this stage. Ah, oh, damn it, of course he shoots me. Okay, let's try the uh, English version. In 1985, arcade were verboten for minors before you found them in public places like pubs and cinemas. Probably this is the reason why I don't know that one. Ah, I feel like that's not the first time I've heard that, actually. Um, man, that's such a bummer. I Yeah, I feel like arcade games and, and arcades in general, like, throughout the world, ended up kind of fluctuating a lot in terms of how the public perceived them. Because I know even in the US there was a, there was like, there was a big movement against arcades. Like it was a place for like uh, the no good kids, the rep scallions, bowling alleys as well. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, let's see what the English version is like. Maybe it's slightly easier. Knowing how the rest of these have gone is probably slightly harder. set that one because it was a bad start it's time for killer games discussion started yup that makes sense my question is how come the bees don't sting donkey kong he should be just as susceptible to this the bee stings as we are he's the one punching the beehives after all maybe it's because he's above them and the bees are like we're gonna go down also, why are bees trying to steal our flowers? What do what, what bees want? Well, I guess bees want the pollen? I don't know. <laughs> Convenience stores. Pizza places had arcade machines too. Yep, that makes sense. Gorilla hides actually do protect against bugs. I mean, that's that's fair. That is legit. Oh boy, that was a little close. No caterpillars! Get out! No! Damn it! Oh gosh. Ah, <laughs> damn you! Just want to get through this screen without relying on the bug spray. Is it so much to ask for? Come on, come on. 
There we go. There we go. Well, at least we'll carry this into the next screen. Humans are super vulnerable to bugs because we abandoned fur, super thick bodies, bodies, hair via evolution. Yup, yup. I mean, that checks out for sure. And now we get to wear cool clothes. Take that, animals. Well, other animals. We're still animals. No caterpillars. No caterpillars. Get out of here. Ah, dang it. Fine. Take my flowers. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh wow oh gosh oh he does climb back down oh gosh man it's not easy uh, get that bug spray yes get him get him get him well, at least now I have sort of a poopy strategy to get through this. Humans are like these bugs. These bees are being developed as anti-human bioweapon. It could be. <laughs> Some say it's to help us better adapt to the water, making us more aquatic than most apes, or muscle mass being another example. It's just a theory, science theory. Thanks for research. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think there's there's a pretty good good amount of theories as to why we, uh... Oh, man. Well, at least I have more lives. But yeah, there's, there's definitely a couple of good theories as to why we evolved away from having thick hides and fur. I think I definitely subscribed mostly to the, the theory that we did it because we tr started traveling uh, we needed to like be more adaptive to different climates I, I don't know how true that really is but I definitely don't think that that's the only good answer yeah this this version honestly feels pretty dang, oh gosh, similar. Oh my god. It's really tough to aim this thing sometimes. Well, that's that. Wow, man, I got a pretty good score. I mean, I'm not upset with that. Okay, so let's, I say, let's uh, check out the NES version now. See what that one's all about. Oh, do I have too many controllers plugged in right now? Come on. I just want to go back. There we go. Okay, let's see what the NES version's like. Oh my goodness! Wait for it, wait for it. There this it is! This place has too much excitement. We need to move back to the country. This place is too much excitement because Talk Puppet to me just threw the raid over to us. How's it going, Talk Puppet? I, I hope you're streaming well. Especially oh my ugly. goodness. I never forget a face, especially one that ugly. Thank you so much for the follow. How's it going, everyone? I hope you all had an absolutely delightful time over by Puppets. How was the stream today? Talk Puppet to me is a true hero of time. They've been saving the timeline of the talk shows and podcasts, which only means today was Puppet Show Day. At least I certainly hope so. Otherwise, I'm going to be making a fool of myself. Um, if you've never been over there, please go check out Talk Puppet to Me. 
uh, he's he's done all sorts of cool stuff. He's been a a awesome streamer playing a bunch of cool retro stuff here and there. But even better, he does real puppet shows. Like it's just amazing and charming and delightful. Like what's not to love about a genuine puppet show? Um, go check go check out Doc Puppet to me sometime though. Seriously, I it's an absolute delight. Welcome out in everyone. If you've uh if you've never been here before. We do Cronus streams, so we're playing through every single gosh dang Donkey Kong game in chronological order. Uh, right now we're going through all the Donkey Kong. We just did Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 2, Donkey Kong other Game & Watch games, and we're right now going through Donkey Kong 3. Uh, about to start the NES version, which has been pretty fun. We also, hence the alerts, we, we do uh, a Cronus stream of the Jack & Daxter series right now too. Not sure about the climate reasoning for less fur other than animals retain their fur in a variety of environments. Yeah, I, I kind of had that thought too, Chad. Maybe it's because the first evolutionary aspect of humans that sets us apart from the other animals is the ability to regain stamina while on the move. I mean, that's fair. It's legit. Also, our work was just featured on the New York Times Post Wednesday. Holy cow! Wait, really? That's amazing! Congrats, puppet! That's... It's like a crowning achievement right there. Holy shit. Part of the same uh, regain is dependent on the body temperature control, which is primarily determined by our ability to sweat. Yeah, that's, I guess, kind of where my brain was with that the logic that I, I mentioned before. Uh, but that's the better answer. <laughs> Damn, DK Journey. Yeah, we, we finally beat... Uh, we just finished up our Chrono stream, our three-year journey through the Zelda franchise. Oh boy, this is pretty different already. Um, and now the next long journey is going to be uh, Donkey Kong, which I'm really excited for. We're kind of blasting through this a lot faster than I, I thought we would be. Oh wow. I didn't think it would be that different. But here we are, and it does feel a lot simpler. I don't know why. I thought I had played uh, Donkey Kong on the NES before. Boy, and I'm immediately not doing very well. Okay, that's fine. Favorite is how evolutionary divergent squids are. Their independently developed eyes and minds and organs just insane. I certainly know that Octopus have absolutely crazy biology, but I never heard anything about squids. But that that makes sense to me too. That sounds that does sound really cool. Favorite thing, I guess. That makes sense. Paces a lot slower, but it feels like it controls worse. It does kind of feel like it controls a little bit worse. Although it does look like I can still use my my <laughs> my mean boy tactics of blasting through these levels. Perfect. Drastically better than the last round. Kind of feels like maybe though the super it doesn't quite push DK as far. Wow, okay, but that that's the first time I've been able to get through that screen without the super spray. It took out the swarms of insects that fly around the nests. Ah, I mean, that makes sense. Oh boy, of course we still have this stage. We still have the insects that I dislike the most though, the explodey boys. Yeah, there it is. Are you going to play all the Mario and Donkey Kong games too? I absolutely am. The only games that we're really excluding out of the list are uh, Mario sports games. Mostly because DK is just kind of a guest in those and it's not really a DK game. Um, and things like... Uh, what were they? Um... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Leave my flowers alone. No! No! Stay off my platform! Oh, my gosh. Once the worms are down, everything is, is 
over. Really, really truly though, wish that they gave us some means of- oh! Wait, could we have just beaten the stage by beating all the bugs? I never knew that was an option. Huh. Well, that's a little bit of a game changer. That almost makes me want to go back to, uh... To the arcade version, just to, like... See? Aw, oh, man, really? I... Aw, oh, gosh. Full list of games is in the description below. It includes the Mario and Donkey Kong games. Yep, yep. Absolutely. Smash Bros. DK and character campaigns are going to be included, which reminds me, Chris, are we going to do the Zelda character paths with those games too when we get to them? I think so. I have been trying to think of the best way for us to do it, and I, I feel like doing the Zelda paths for those just kind of makes sense. I guess if you kill enough bugs, you win. Ha! Huh. I had no clue that was an option. That's kind of funny. I feel like, though, this is probably one of the stages where you have to. Like, this this is like the final-ish stage. So I feel like we have to kick DK's head into the bee nest. Because he's got nowhere else to go. Well, now we'll maybe see if there are other screens. I mean, we don't have any more lives, but... Perfect. Uh, don't know if I would call that perfect, but I'll take it. Yes! <laughs> yeah, the only game that I'm certainly not 100% sure if we should include is the Skylanders game. One of the Skylanders games that has Donkey Kong as a character. Because uh, it's like the story doesn't really have anything to do with DK, but he is a fully... Whoa, that's a new bug. He is a fully playable character with his own set of abilities, so... I don't know. Oh, gosh. Oh, man! Man. Brutal. Of course, it seems a lot easier to brute force through quickly. It kind of does. All right, let's see what game B is like. I don't anticipate... It's going to be drastically different. Certainly will make me sad, though, faster. I don't care about my flowers. I just want to kill Donkey Kong. That's all I ever really wanted. There's no way you're getting through this, DK. <laughs> Sucker. Perfect. I mean, I should be trying to get a higher score just for the, uh, the extra one-ups alone. Yes, it's so amazing. I wonder if it resets the timer on the uh, the super spray at all, or if it's like, you have one second left, so that's all you get in the next zone. Oh yeah, we don't even have the super spray here. Yeah, so it, it must keep track of how much time we have left. Oh gosh. I do feel like the uh, explody bugs, those guys, are a little bit easier to avoid in a... Uh, Oh gosh, ah, there it is. In the NES version. What did the x out games mean in the description? So those are games that we are skipping, either because they are uh, impossible to play or impossible to get, which is, I guess, sort of the same thing. Um, so there's, there's some games that are so insanely rare that I just like, and, and not reproducible in any kind of meaningful way that we just kind of had to skip them. Whoop. Um, and there's some that we may have to skip 
even though they're still out there in the world, they're just so expensive that it's it'd be near impossible to get. Um, so things like the Nelsana Game Watch, I'm desperately trying to find a reasonable cost on it, but they're all like a hundred bucks. Although there are talks in the the uh, multi arcade machine emulator group of emulating the uh, Nelsana games, but I think it's all just waiting on someone to dissect the watches. Well, I just missed my chance to blow up that bug. Oh, come on. No! I had a chance! Oh, man. So I figured, makes sense. Yeah! I I'm glad, I'm glad that that makes sense and that people don't get mad at me for that. <laughs> and I feel like I, whoop, there we go. Oh, ah! All right, DK, get your head in there. Now we're on loop three. Fortunately with DK though, it doesn't seem like there's many that we'll have to skip. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones we have on the skip list. I'm thinking about it. Yes. <laughs> there was one board game that I found that I think I found out was probably a uh, a knockoff and not actually a Donkey Kong game. <laughs> I feel like this stage is definitely better off left to survival tactics. Oh gosh. Did not mean to jump closer to that one. Take my turnip, I don't care! Oh, ah, ooh. That's fine, that's fine, everything's fine. I don't want those flowers anyway, they're stupid. Ah, dang it. Oh, we still have two lives. And now we've got our super spray. Man, I really can't push him too far up there. Oh, gosh! I heard the sound effect and everything. It's, you jump in this game by pushing up, which uh, happens to me a lot on, on accident just because I'm panicking and pushing buttons. Get out of here, you stupid horizontal bugs. Ooh, so they only attack when they're in position. I knew I shouldn't have jumped there. Ah, oh, boy. Seems like the two you extra are Japanese. Oh, that's right. Those are Japanese arcade cabinets that, unless I go to Japan, and literally live stream it there, I don't think we'll be able to play those games. I don't think we'll be missing out on too much though, to be fair. I think they're like, they're not pachinko games, but I think they are like not very interesting arcade cabinets. They could have easily made one of the buttons jump. They could have. They chose not to, those sons of guns. In the OG Donkey Kong, did you Get to the kill screen? Oh gosh, no. Not even close. There was... I did find that the arcade version was one of the easier ones. I think the easiest version of classic Donkey Kong was the NES version, though. Um, but... Oh, that's not the screen I wanted to... Uh, this work? Hey, there we go. So I think we're good to call DK3 done. So, so oh boy. For simplicity's sake, let's uh let's jump into Donkey Kong 3, the Game and Watch version. Um, we're technically skipping forward in time by 
a single game, but I'm very sure we'll have enough time for uh, the game that comes just before the Game & Watch, DKC3. Because um, DKC3 won't take very long. It's it's a little bit weird. All right, so we want to throw main back up. Here, we'll reset this too. Well, yeah, I guess it does just kind of do that. Whoa, what happened to my screen? Whoa, whoa. Did you think we might get to the DK Game Boy tonight? No, I didn't think so. So after, so we've got Donkey Kong Jr. Math. We've got Game & Watch Donkey Kong 3. Then we've got the Game & Watch Donkey Kong Circus. Then we've got the Game & Watch Donkey Kong Hockey. Then we have the, technically we would have the Nelsonic Game & Watch Donkey Kong, but I don't think we're going to get that anytime soon just because it's expensive as heck. Um... And then is Game Boy Donkey Kong. So I, I think we'll actually get to that one next stream. Because the the other two Game & Watch games, Circus and Hockey, those will be pretty quick too. We might actually have time for those tonight, depending on... I mean, we still have like almost two hours left. I feel like we will probably knock out all the games up into till uh, Donkey Kong Game Boy. Anyway, so we're on Donkey Kong... Three. Micro versus system. Hell yeah. Look at that. So this one was weird. Uh if you see like see these two little little things. Oh here, I'll show you on the screen. See these two little things down here? These are each separate game pads. So you'd pull out the two game pads, and this was meant to be played against other people. Um so one person would control DK, the other person would control Stanley. Um, but they have a mode where you can play the single player, which is very nice. So let's just, whoop, oh, you know what, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. I feel like this aspect ratio will work in our favor. That's not quite what I was going for. Although, you know what? I, I think that's fine if the edges get cut off a little bit. What? I didn't... Oh, okay, I guess we're doing game A. Okay, so basically in this... Uh, okay. So there's... I've... <laughs> in my time testing, I feel like I found the ultimate just cheater's strategy. And it's pretty much just to do this. Because the AI doesn't, doesn't really know what to do. Uh, but the point is, is that we're pushing bees toward each other. And whoever gets the bee, the fr a bee over to the other side, wins the match. That's, that's it. That's the whole game. Um, and I think, do our, our puffs of smoke contest each other? I think they kind of do. And then these little drops, I guess, are like the bug repellent fuel. Oops. Oh, I don't know what happened there. You can't hold out forever, DK. My blasts are too optimized. I will never miss a single shot. Yeah, especially because it's like sitting in the middle is the only spot where you can definitely always grab the fuel, but also the middle is, t it's twice as likely to have a bug in it than the top or the bottom. So in a weird way, this is kind of a poorly designed game, <laughs> because it's, it's a little too optimal to just sit in the middle. Bam, there we go. Another game I've never seen before. It kind of blew my mind when I first saw it, to be totally honest. I, uh... And I thought for sure I'd have to get a physical version of this and, like, play against Tony. Which, you know, to be honest, would have been more fun. Um, but, you know, that's okay. If we, if Tony was here, though, we could still do game B and, and play against him. Uh, 
There were a lot of little Donkey Kong games that were out there. Donkey Kong was so prolific after the arcade that I feel like everyone wanted to jump on and, and get some of that, that money. I mean, like, especially Nintendo. But I don't know who manufactures Game & Watch stuff. I, it could be Nintendo for all I know. Because I think Game & Watch is a Nintendo property. But, you know, they could be partnering with someone to do it. Anyway, that's Donkey Kong 3. It's... it's alright. You could do like that and... Do a couple of little blasts. You could get all three and go boo, boo, boo! It's very exciting. And I think this will just keep going until we lose three times? If I'm not mistaken. So this truly is like a high score mode. And they kind of spice this up a little bit with the uh, Game & Watch galleries, which is kind of fun. Those will, those will be neat because we'll sort of replay some of these Game & Watch games, but then we'll get to see, like, the modernized version of a bunch of them. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game! 10 out of 10. It is, in fact, a game. They did it. They really did it. I mean, I guess to be fair, it's a great example of a game that was very clearly designed to be multiplayer, and they slapped in the single-player stuff as like a, well, we kind of need to do this, otherwise people probably won't buy it. Hey, we did it! Youch! Okay, let's see how long it takes DK to, to beat me. I mean, he did pretty good there! I do like the little sprites for this. This makes Stanley a lot uh, more, a lot better looking of a character. <laughs> Youch! I mean, if you had two players, couldn't the other player also just stay in the middle? I Yeah, absolutely. I think it will just turn into a game of, like, staying in the middle and can you, <laughs> can you be more optimized than the other player? I guess while we're here, we might as well just jump right into uh, Donkey Kong Circus and Hockey because now I'm even more convinced we'll have enough time. I kind of forgot how quick and simple uh, DK3 was. So next up is Circus, which I think is on... Oh, it's not on this one. Okay. Well, good thing I already have the folder pulled up and ready to go. Play. Oh, boy. Small screen. Okay. So let's get rid of this and instead open up another window capture. So we want this to be Donkey Kong Circus Emulator. There we go. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's leave the screen kind of like this. You don't really need to see the game A and B buttons, I think. So this, this one's really cool. Uh, someone just like straight up made a downloadable like application for this um 
because this didn't have any support on, on multi-machine emulator or multi-arcade machine emulator. I couldn't find it anywhere else, but someone was just like, I'll just make this on my own time. Like, hell yeah, that's great. Okay, we'll do game A, or maybe it's A. Uh, maybe I have to hit, click the button. Ah, oh, there we go. So this is, uh, kind of like, oh, what's it called? Like, cook? It's a game of watch game where you're the, like, chef and you gotta bounce food around. And I think you have to, like, avoid fire and stuff. I'm pretty sure from what I read that this is literally a clone of another Game & Watch game. Um, like, and it has the exact same source code. Uh, it just like was reskinned, which is kind of funny. Oh gosh. I was very worried that I would touch that fire. Not quite sure what determines when DK will try to grab the fire, or if it's like, just don't touch the fire with your body at all. Uh, maybe it is just his hand. <laughs> Yet another game I've never seen before. <laughs> there were a lot of weird DK Game & Watch games, for sure. is uh, not the most difficult thing in the world, to be honest. I like Mario just kind of standing there. He's not actually doing anything. In fact, he's not even really being an antagonist in this one. He's just kind of like observing. Although I do like the paradigm shift that at this point, there aren't any, well, other than Donkey Kong 3, like, there, we're not really seeing any more Donkey Kong games where Donkey Kong is the bad guy. Which I think is really interesting. I mean, maybe he's the bad guy here, but, like, he doesn't seem bad. He's just kind of like, yeah, I don't know, I'm just an ape juggling fruit, I guess. Ah! Oh, man. That fire was in the way. Wow, Mario. Either you were jumping for joy, or you were jumping out of anger? Either way, rude. Oh! Don't touch the fire. I feel like some of the positions of these are, are real mean. He was laughing. That jerk. Oh yeah, he totally is laughing. He's like jumping and laughing and pointing his finger at us. What a jerk. Mario is so mean. I love though this depiction of Mario as a bad guy. <laughs> totally makes you feel empathetic for DK. You're like, all this time everyone depicted Donkey Kong as the villain, but no, Mario's just a jerk. Even in the original game, the story goes that the only reason DK kidnapped Paul, Paul, Pauline is because Mario was abusing him. He is the bad guy, but he has better PR. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Maybe they're all actually the bad guys, though, in the end. I guess this game really is about Mario tormenting DK by making him juggle fruit around hot flames. I guess they are like oil fires in this construction site. I have, I have more questions though about how DK even got into this position in the first place. Ah, oh, there is no time for that! Although DK doesn't look that upset to be totally honest. 
after DK is getting revenge by always stealing away the princess. I mean, that's at least how the original game depicts it. But at a certain point, like, DK only really kidnapped the princess in the first game, right? After that, I don't think he ever did it again, did he? Because after that, it was Bowser. Oh, I can't close this. Anyway, so that's... That's, uh, Donkey Kong Circus. Back to MAME. Also, what's up, Sacred Jade? All right, next up we've got Donkey Kong Hockey, which may look very similar to another game we just saw. It also has the two, uh, here, I'll show you. Oh, wait, no, we have it cropped. It also has the two little pads kind of off to the side. So this time we're just playing hockey instead. <laughs> which, to be fair, this is a much better, aw, oh, man. Much better game to play single player because it actually is just, it's like hockey. <laughs> and I think these little like pedals. Oh gosh, no! Oh, I mis misgaged that trajectory. So those pedals in the middle will kind of throw the puck wayside. But I do actually have to. Oh, I timed it wrong. All right, DK's kicking my butt, whatever. Oh, it goes faster. No, oh gosh, no! DK dro drops pineapple, oopie doopie. Sitcom outro music. Oh gosh, no, 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 oh man. When is the game over? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! I guess we can't hit the, uh, the ref. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, I keep swinging too soon. Oh, oh, he kicks it back. Oh, interesting. No! <laughs> this is hard. That's why you gotta play this with other people. The AI is too good. Maybe it just goes on forever. Oh, gosh. I guess I just don't know what direction to expect those things in the middle to send the, the puck. Maybe I should just hang out in the back. Oh, it's first to ten. Yeah, that... That makes sense. Oh, the ref is gone. Interesting. So he's not always out. Ah, oh, damn you, DK. I thought I finally had a chance. Oh, yeah. What's up? Maybe the ref comes out after the game gets too skewed on one side. That'd be interesting as like a game balance mechanic. Yeah, I think hanging out in the back is definitely the way to go. Also, I think when it hits the second... Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, when it hits the second... Uh, thing in the middle, it shoots the ball straight. That's interesting. That's good to know. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Shut out! <laughs> oh! That stupid stinky ape. No! Oh, I mis misjudged. Moving circles seem to cancel each other out. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I didn't mean to move. The puck is going straight. They angle it. If they're angled, they straighten it out. Yes. I think that's... I think that's exactly right. Shh. Oh, yeah. It's in the right spot. 
Whatever, DK, I can still win this. I can bounce back. I've come back from worse. I've sprayed you in the butt with bug spray before. I'm not afraid of you. I swing before I move, I just ruin it for everything. You might have figured out that I was typing. <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh. Oh, as you were typing. I mean, it's okay. I still appreciate the effort and the thought. It, it helps confirm that I'm not crazy in my mind. <laughs> ah, stupid ref, get out of here. No! Oh, damn you, DK! No! Oh, man! I hate this rep. He's so mean. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Aha! No! Aha! Aha! Oh. How come DK never... Whoa! Misfires. I don't like this wood. Well, fine. Just be that way, I guess. Okay. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Come on. <sighs> you have to itch my nose! Oh! No! Oh, I timed poorly. Boy, and I thought I was doing okay. As it turned out, I was not. Ah! Ah! No! Yes! Finally got a point! What's up, DK? I'm coming back. So I wonder if maybe we will hit the puck back if we're just standing there? As long as we don't swing. I think if we swing, if we time it wrong, then we will miss it. Um, but I think hitting it speeds it up. An interesting st strategy, if that is the case. Because I've noticed it doesn't always speed up. When DK hits it, at least. But it always speeds up when I do. So I wonder if that's the difference. Yes! Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him, but look at all those spectators. All apes. Ooh. I don't know. Some of them look kind of people like. They got real big noses, though. Oh, oh, I hit the down arrow, but it didn't work. I must have hit too many things. They look like Mario's with big round noses. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right. Give it one more shot. I'm determined to beat this boy.
Okay, well that just confirmed my theory about the speed of the puck. Because I didn't hit the the swing button. Yeah, I think especially when um, the ref isn't here, I don't care as much about the speed. Like, I feel like it's probably always better for me to hit faster. That way I can hopefully throw him off. But when the ref is here, the speed of the puck is super important because it might determine if I get it past the ref or not. Shit. Ah, I misjudged. Boy. Get him, get him, get him. All right, or don't get him. Get him! Oh, I thought I got past him. Oh, boy. Boink. Ah! He's so good! How is he so good at this? Ha! Ah! Take that, DK! Oh. Ha! Ah! Oh, oh, I guess the rep decided to come out. It was like, this is taking too long, let's spice this up. And, and fully DK in particular. Goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on! It's gotta slip past him eventually! What the heck? DK's too good at this game! No! Come on! Alright, fine, be that way. Boop. swung but I recovered just in time wow and that's what made the difference jeez man go down dk oh the ref is gone yeah so i guess in the beginning of the game he only shows up when you're taking too long Whoa, look at that two up Man, I got so excited for a second there. Woo! I don't know why all of a sudden now he's missing. I'm really not doing anything different, I promise. <laughs> the classic first pass blunder. Watch as I do the same thing too. Ah yes, now the ref is out. fine. So I thought we'd be able to get our way through the DK Game Boy tonight. Oh no! Ah, too many inputs. It looks like we might be Chris obsessively trying to beat a monkey at hockey. Well, I guess even if we start DK Game Boy, we're not going to finish it tonight either way. I wanted to try to actually like, you know, quote unquote, beat this game. Uh... Oh no! But if if we if I lose this round, I I won't do another one. I promise. Yes. Ah, oh, damn it. DK, you're too good. Well, at least I have not had to move much. <laughs> yes! Only four more points. We can do this. This is achievable. Go, go, 
go, go, go! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Come on! Come on, just goof DK right off at the beginning. Okay, okay, I can work with this. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Oh god! Yes! No! No! Ha! 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 Oh gosh, oh boy, oh god, it's chaos. <laughs> it's going so fast! I do appreciate that the puck does seem to slow down as it approaches the goal. Gives you a little bit more time to uh, understand what the heck is happening. That's, you know, that's fine. Oh, 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 oh. I was in the right spot. I just swung at the wrong time. Get wrecked, DK. Get wrecked! Go, 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 go! Power Rangers! Yes. Two more. We can do this. Pow! Yes, 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 yes! Whew. Victory is close at hand. Surely I won't lose five shots in a row. <laughs> ah, shoot. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like DK almost never misses when it comes to the bounce back from the ref. Oh. Oh. I only meant to bounce that back slowly. I wonder if we don't swing if it if it angles the uh the puck instead. Oh, maybe or it just changes it. Oh, that would be really interesting. I didn't realize. <gasps> Yes! Eat bananas! Oh no, it loops! <laughs> oh gosh! I don't know if I care enough. <laughs> it's just points at this point. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> Thank you for the GG. Alright! Next up on the list, and technically this was a couple, couple back, uh, we're doing <laughs> DK Junior Math. So we're going to go back to this screen and we're going to unplug the switch. You have a clip! Absolutely. Here, let me give you permission. Bam! There you go. Okay. So, this one is on the Wii U Virtual Console of all places. Not where I would have expected to find it, but hey, I'm not complaining. Thank you for the clip! It's going so fast! It's really fun. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah, yes. Donkey Kong Jr. Math. 
The classic. <laughs> all right, so this is the main game. So we got to get 67. All right, all right. So I and when I tested this out, it's it's not as like smart as you would think. Like you think like okay, so there should be like two things that I do to do it. No, they're just like I don't know. Just keep adding stuff until you get it, I guess. So I could do like. I don't know, uh, seven times, Whoop. seven times nine, and then plus, no, not that one. Oh, oh my God. Okay, well, <laughs> that was actually just an accident. I swear that was not me trying to do math. All right, well, then let's just add, we need 67, all right, so plus nine, and then plus three more. Ah, we did it! Fascinating gameplay. 89, okay. Well. Let's see, well, we could do nine times nine, get us most of the way there. I don't know if we get like more points or something if we choose fewer things. I feel like probably not. All right, and plus eight. Nice. <laughs> Math, education for gamers? That's, uh, that's kind of the idea. <laughs> um, I don't know. Nine times. Oh, and welcomes you, blah, 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 the usual oh, voice hey, thank you so much for the follow. I don't know why I didn't put that in what I just do. I don't know why I didn't drop that in, in chat, too. But hey, glad you're having a good time. Okay, and plus two. I assume that it's a you win once we get enough apples? Also, I feel like there has to be a mode where we're competing, right? But I, I don't actually know if there's a lose condition. 97, okay, well, we'll do. Hmm, actually, is there some, well, yeah, this will be a little slow. But we can do nine times nine and then just add the rest. All right, 81. I guess I could have done something smarter, like, you know, made 50 and then times two and then minus three. But eh. Oh, but we run out of nines. Interesting. Okay. Well, we want another eight. We did it. It's supposed to be a competition with the second player. I'm not sure. I feel like that's the idea. I wonder if it just keeps going until we somehow lose, which is maybe falling in the water? 56, uh... Okay, so we could do like... Nine times... Six plus, Got you, other DK Junior. Oh, hey, we won. <laughs> do, 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 do. So is that? That's it. Wow. Is calculate B? Oops. 
<laughs> no. Oh. Oh, interesting. That's how we go back. So is is this the one where we fight another player? Oh, it's just bigger numbers. Wait, okay, so we're at 200. So we could do, I mean, we're better off adding numbers before we do a times two dealio, right? Yeah, maybe, oh yeah, maybe you would have a second controller just plugged in and they would be going at it Oh, that makes so much more sense. Well, maybe I maybe I should do this, play this game again with Tony. <laughs> I feel like that would be a lot more interesting than me just like kind of going about this this boring slow way. It's a two-player game. Once Chris solved the task, the animation shows a losing animation for the pink DK. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, sure. Eight. Okay, well then I'll do this one, and then... Alright, plus four. Oh, the plus is over here now. Well, at least game B is actually like the more difficult mode. Okay, and then there's this mode, which is just like practicing. So we could be like, let's practice our division. All right, so two. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, how does this work? Wait, what? Oh, it's telling us the order that we're supposed to start this in. Ah, what did I do? Where's Peach? She's not here. What? Okay, this is a little bit weird. Okay, so, yeah, so 21 divided by two. It's been a while since I've seen division that looks like this. So that would be zero. How do we do the remainder? Are you going to keep yapping? Are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping. Oh, that's the reset everything button. Hey, Mad Bees! How you doing, my friend? All right, listen. It's been a long time since I've done division like that. I, I don't actually remember what that, that layout means. <laughs> We can do big number, though, subtraction. Which isn't like math, I guess. I mean, to be fair, does anyone really? All right, so we're looking at four, six. We're looking at eight. Uh, seven. Eight. And... Yeah, I got a little egg. Oh, so we just go through 10 whole smackaroonies of this. Okay, so that's nine, uh, six, uh, three. That would be seven. And then two. Nice. Now this is truly the spot where I could embarrass myself though and mess up some basic subtraction. Doing all right, brother, throwing something midnight shit on the grill? Hell yeah. Uh, 
eight is what we want here. Four, zero, nine. Do 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 seven three Yeah My idea to make that more compelling doing this with hexadecimal numbers oh my that'd be brutal I don't understand hexadecimal well enough <laughs> to be able to do anything remotely like that uh seven uh, eight, then three. Ah, yeah. Yeah, this is not the most exciting thing in the world. <laughs> you should, and at the next level it becomes octal. Oh gosh. Why would you be so mean? Five, four, Nine zero. No, no. Oh man, I didn't. I know, I know those aren't right. Just trying to do zero. Although it's kind of nice that they're like, hey, here's the specific numbers you messed up. Doctor DK Junior Math Programmer Version. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that would be kind of cool. Uh, that would be six. Seven. Uh, zero. Come on, here we go. And five. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, what? I don't get an egg for number five? I see how it is. Just because I messed up on accident? Rude. Still did it. I did the work. Seven. Four. Uh, we're looking at... What? Six? Uh, seven. And two. Boo, boo, boo! I'm assuming those are eggs because of the bird. Zero, one, nine, seven, uh, nine, two. Beep, beep, beep. And I assume that little question mark Oh, no, I think that's the hint. If we're like, if we mess up or are confused, um, we could just like hit that switch. All right, that would be nine. That's eight. Yes. That would be three. That would be a four. And that would be a five. All right, two, zero, five, oh, five, and nine, and two. Boo, boo, boo. Do, 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 do. I really hope they don't give us a marker to be like, you did it. Oh, good. If they gave us a marker to be like, you did it, I'd be like, well, now we have to do all of these. But because they don't give us a marker, I don't feel so bad not doing all of them. <laughs> all right, let's maybe call that one done, shall we? So the question is, we've got about an hour left. The next one in the list would be Donkey Kong Game Boy. Uh, should we jump into it, even if it's only an hour? Actually, let me see. How long did I estimate that game would take? Um, 
Here, I gotta switch my TV back because I can't see my list. Absolutely, okay. Let's see here. So Donkey Kong, Game Boy, I have estimated four. Six hours. So that would normally be just like one full stream in itself, but I'm cool with starting it. Maybe that hour will be, will be a nice buffer. Um, okay, I was not as prepared for Donkey Kong <laughs> Game Boy, but should be fine. Uh, what am I running this on? I think it was Citra. Okay. I gotta go grab a gamepad. I'm gonna set up real quick, be right back. Bob had that guy. No, I know what to do. I know the secret, Tony. You throw a bomb? I have Two bombs? the secret sauce. Oh yeah, because then they'll come flying towards it, right? Ow! <laughs> that uh, can someone clip that? I know the secret, <laughs> and then he just gets he just slapped. <laughs> Yes! Oh, ah, oh. Hey, Matt! How you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for the host! Boy! Matt, how you doing, my dude? Also, one minor change I like is the game doesn't pause when you pick up an item. Oh, yeah! Wow, I didn't even notice that, but you're, you're absolutely right. I feel like this music could make someone go crazy. Taking care of you. I'm so sorry I farted. <laughs> I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Oh my goodness. I farted. This is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your <laughs> empty <laughs> bottle. Please, this needs to stop. This is too good. I couldn't really understand. Oh, you're fine. Just gonna leave and come back and keep my laser sword. Ha! Huh. How do you like that? Yeah, I can cheese the system too. You may be able to respawn it in. <laughs> well, that's how we throw. <laughs> well, fortunately, there's a whole new heck and shovel right over here. Like, especially as a fellow dev, it's like, I don't want anyone, to, I don't want to make anyone feel bad about their hard work that they've put into a game, you know? Like, game development is a really difficult thing to get right, um, and just difficult to do in general. So it's like, no one deserves to be put down for, for you know, trying their hardest to make something fun. Oh god. <laughs> everything's fine, everything's fine! Squirrels! To pull the bills! Do they pay the bills though, Chris? Probably. Do they? We don't have bills in this game because we're a child. <laughs> I he 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 wants you to hand the controller to me. Oh no, really? Yes! <laughs> Buckle up, Buttercup. I can't play with mouse and keyboard. I moved the uh, the uh, the dongle all the way over here so that Dan would be able to uh, to play. Okay, so right click. Oh, that's that's your target right there. Kill him. What are you waiting for? Come learn, on. Let come me on. learn the come controls on, Mr. first. Man. <laughs> let me learn the controls. Okay, let me put on these night vision oh, goggles. Okay. Oh, he's got his poison sword. I was pretty close. You're right, I did accidentally put the wrong screen up. My bad. All right! We're starting... Starting Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. So this is where the Donkey Kong games start getting a little bit more complicated. Oh, I still have the audio muted. Let me fix that. All right, let's see how loud... Uh, I'm gonna turn down the game audio. Uh... Okay, let me know if that's too loud or too quiet. Uh, looks like from the levels standpoint, it should be okay. But I hope you all are ready for this. 
Here, you know what? I'll even I'll scooch this screen a little bit. Sounds good to me. Okay, good. Did I just mess it up? Okay, I gotta reset this. It's it gets a little weird because it's the uh so this is the 3DS uh, Virtual Console, which unfortunately was the best way to get this game. But if I click the screen, it pulls up the like 3DS save state prompt and then it messes up the audio because it's got like silly emulation. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this bad boy right here. Um, this was me just like testing it out to make sure that this would work uh, because when I first pulled this off of my 3DS it uh, sounded horrible. It took a lot of finessing to get this to work. I think something about it emulating Virtual Console's emulator got real jank but we got it. We got working. Good old classic DK right here. Do 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 do. Do 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 Oh. No fire, no how. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Well, that was not the jump button, it seems. Definitely desynced. Hmm. I wonder if that's. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I can fix that. I realize now this probably was an issue with some of the other captures. Uh, and I did not realize that at the time because I forgot to add filters to it. So sorry if things seemed a little bit off before. Boom, okay. So now, tell me if this, this is off. One, two, one, two, one, two. I mean, that might not be perfect because there's a little bit of a lag in, in the game itself. Um, that's why I should have just stuck with one window capture instead of making a million of them. I guess it really only would have affected DK Circus, to be fair. So I think the others should have it. Oh my god, I forgot to put it on the main one too. So all the main stuff would have been desynced too. Whoops, my bad. Ah, Mario's dead. I guess to be fair, everything with the Game of Watch games are so crazy anyway that it's probably not as noticeable. Thank you for saying something. I totally forgot that I needed to set up that audio delay. Or, well, render delay for things to match up with the audio. Okay, so that's... Whoa, gosh. Oh my goodness. I swear. It hasn't been that long since we played Classic DK. All right, maybe I should just not go with the hammer. Go with old tried and true. Jumping over barrels. Ah! I mean, this controls drastically better than uh, the original Donkey Kong. Literally last week since you played a lot of Classic DK. Oh yeah. This game is a masterpiece. I am very excited to play through this one. Ooh, thank goodness. I need that one up. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, not uh, a fire. Go away. You know what? Oh no, I can't go back down. Uh, I don't know. Oh, good. I'm not stuck. Thank goodness. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey look, DK's got a tie here! 
I didn't realize this was the origin of DK wearing a tie. At least I... Maybe he had a tie in the... I think about it. He could have had tie a tie in some of the, like, cabinet art. Oh, look at that. Now the floors have spikes. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's that's fine. I deserve that. Come on, come on down here, fire. Come on. You know you wanna. This game is quite literally the bridge between classic DK and rare DK. I I would never have, have guessed, to be totally honest. I totally thought that Rare was the one who put the tie on DK because that was their way of differentiating what version of DK it was. But no, turns out they, they got it from this one, which honestly, I think that's even cooler. Oh gosh, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I really want that heart. I need that one up. Come on, fire guy. Ah, why is the fire so mean in these games? Woo! <sighs> Thank goodness. All right, the classic final screen. And in this version, we can throw our hammer up. Whoops. Oh, well, there it goes. Woo! But we also don't just, like, die as soon as we uh, fall, which is super, super nice. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, we don't really need that hammer anymore. We got what we came here for. Bonk! Ah, we did it. We beat the game. Everything is done. We, we don't need to do anything more. Oh! DK, you son of a gun! <laughs> I like that little, like, butt stuck in the door. Such an amazing fake out. I love it so much. This was the moment that when I was researching these games, I was like, oh, okay, this is just another ported Donkey Kong. And then I got to this screen, and I was like, wait, what is happening? And blew my mind. Wait, this is suddenly a Mario game? It absolutely is. Oops. Oh, okay. I thought I just reselected the first stage. So really, truly, I feel like this is probably... Well, no, I think I'm wrong. I was going to say, this might be the actual origin of the, like, Mario vs. DK games. Um, but I haven't played those yet, so I don't really know what they're like other than... Hmm, okay. I don't think I can just, like, bop that oil. Oh. Apparently I can. Oh! Huh. Well, okay, so I could probably, yeah, throw this up there. The really interesting thing to me, too, is that it kind of has a similar feel um, that the Wario Land games kind of had to me. Uh, can I just, like... I think I can just throw it straight down, but I can... Whoa. Ah, that's probably good enough. <laughs> what is this? 
over 100 levels. How did I not know about this? I know, right? That was kind of how I felt when I first realized this was a thing. I'm like, how did I never hear about this? What is this? Oh, that's the purse. Nice. All right, and we got our key. Boom. Puzzle platformer, bring the key to the door to advance. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Mario. Mario is right after DK, I think. Although I think there's two DK faces. Ah. That was close though. Oh, it's the different order. Okay, I think Mario's right after the hat. Ah, I got two hats. Oh, I got a one-up. Nice. Everything is like a Mario game. Yeah! Yeah, it makes me wonder if uh, Mario 2 came out before this or not. And these guys, oh, they kind of hurt me. Okay, well, found out one way or the other. I wonder what happens if we uh, run out of lives and we get a game over. Probably not good things, but I wonder if it's like, okay, now restart the entire game, or if it's like, continue? Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna need this. So I'm just going to bring it with me. Maybe not. Alright, throw that bad boy straight up. Oh, that's probably how I could have just dropped that barrel or can in that specific spot that I wanted last time. Eh, I don't care about the purse. Interesting. Oh, well, it's gone. What? Okay. Did not expect that to be an enemy. <laughs> okay, I cannot pick him up. And good riddance! Oh! Uh... Ah. I suppose I should update the stream title at this point, considering how, how different of a, a game we're playing at this point. I'll do that real quick. Alright, there we go. Much better. Shit! Oh, I just broke the audio, didn't I? Yep. I wonder though... Can I save state? I can save state. So what happens... Audio is not supported for save states. Okay, well then let's just save. Oh. 
Do I want DK heads? Oh, I do. Ah, dang it, Mario. Eh, at least we got a one-up. I assume it... Oh, there we go. Save and end. Okay. I'm going to not click on this screen. The whole unlock the door and run through it reminds me of the Wario games, right? It's very, very similar. Gonna call it night here? Night, everyone. Good night, Chad. Thanks for hanging out, bud. Hope you had a good time and, and uh, hope you get some even better rest. Wait, what? It didn't save any of that. Hmm. I'm confused. Oh, maybe I need to be concerned about this for future. Oops. Uh, I don't know why I didn't save the game properly. I mean, this is definitely part of why I've been worried about using this emulator. Hmm. I think it only saves every four stages. Oh, interesting. Okay, well. We found that out the hard way. That's okay. It really isn't that hard to get back to where we were. Oh wait, I do want this. I guess we might as well kill this guy. This way he doesn't bop us. I'm just surprised that they uh, have like a save and continue or save and exit if uh, if it doesn't actually like maintain a particular spot, but oh well. Not sure what the point of the manual save is for to be honest. Ah, yeah, maybe it's, yeah, actually, I guess that is sort of the question. Well, I will have to be extra sure to not use the mouse at all then. I think I'll shoot for the Mario heads. I feel like that's our best bet to definitely get lives. Nice. so silly being able to pick up enemies like that. Will that hurt them? Oh, it kills them. Okay, so that's probably why they had both of them down there. Well. Oof. Yeah, the one hit death situation is pretty tough. I feel like that's gonna bite us in the butt later. That's why I'm really hoping there is a a nicer continue system. Oh. I don't know if I'll take falling damage in this one. Oh, I guess I can climb that. That's right. Okay, well. Certainly I'm not going to die from those kinds of falls. And maybe the big question is like, is there a point in which it turns into a death fall? Whoop. Woo! Oh gosh! Okay, there we go. Just how the level starts with Mario on top of the enemy's head, that's... 
That way you're forced to learn that you can stand on them. That's smart game design. That is very smart game design. I super agree with that. Ah. Well, we got one one up at least. Make made back what we lost. Tried to turn around faster, but it didn't work. Yeah, we'll just start with that guy instead. I wonder if we, like, leave it behind. Will it just... Oh, yeah, it just falls. That's too bad. Out of there. Whew. All right, no electric blasts here. Yeehaw! All right, well, we made back that one life at least. Whoa! You got it. Oh! So this is what we get for getting all the uh, the loot. Interesting. One more! Yes! Heck yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Right, DK. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Oh, ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. Okay, okay. Uh. Now the question is, do I like jump on top of one of these? Nope. Okay, so something's gonna change eventually. Do have some influence over your jump bark midair, which is nice. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, that alone is is sort of the thing that allows the uh, the like classic DK mode at the very beginning to be way way easier. Oh, oh, whoa. We were upside down. Oh, oh, ho, ho. The stage scrolls. Would you look at that? Did not expect that. I guess the other stages did scroll upward. I don't know why I didn't expect them to scroll uh, horizontally. All right, do your little jump. Woo, there we go. That yeah, wasn't so bad. <laughs> Take that, Mario. Whoa. Interesting. A pretty good score all around. Oh! Ooh. Dang, okay. Much better score than I realized. Ah, there it is. Hmm. Well, that seems like a trap. Maybe we like. <laughs> oh, ah, 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 that's what they were trying to teach us with. In that cutscene. Oh, oh, I control this. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's legit. Oh, oh, it's limited. Oh, it's limited. Ah! Oh, he turned around. Did not think that was going to happen. Oh, he's on the ceiling. Okay. Yee 
Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, that's cute. Ah, nice. So many was like this, solid platforms that just push you around. Nice, okay. Yeah, I'll have to figure out which ones are safe to touch and which ones aren't. Okay, so we've got a vertical one here. Hmm. Oh, it creates a ladder. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Didn't think that that would get stopped. Uh, does it come back? Oh, thank goodness. Well, then let's just put that right there. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Woo! Okay. Uh... Maybe one right here? Woo! Okay, now we can just do... <laughs> I still get points for jumping over them. Amazing. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I mean, maybe I can make that. Whoop. Nope. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm probably better off just doing it like this. Oh, I should have waited for Fire Guy to not be in here. Whoa. Oh, no! Ah, man. Well, you know. Learn the hard way sometimes. Okay, so we probably can just get away with doing this, right? Nice. Ah. Well, didn't quite work out the way I hoped. Oh, but they gave us a one-up right here. Oh, that's nice. I feel like that means they kind of expected us to mess up here. Wait for this guy to be out of there this time. Okay, so maybe Mario's big enough? Yeah! Perfect! There we go. Much better than 10. Three hammers is one up. I feel like that's not going to happen very often. I guess if I miss the Mario three times in a row and just get three hammers. Now you're getting it. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. This is really fun. Um, okay, well I don't... I guess I do. Okay, so we'll put this here. Not even gonna really. Oh, hey, it did work out. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, is there? I think there's a way. Hmm. Oh, ha 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 ha. 
Well, that's very clever. <laughs> okay, and then we can just go da da da. Take me up. Yeah. Yeah. How is this Donkey Kong game? It's the best Donkey Kong game, if you ask me. So it's, I mean, obviously Mario, Mario is the protagonist in this one. Um, but Donkey Kong is the main antagonist. And it's following sort of the classic design of, of Donkey Kong. Also, what's up, Danny? There we go, that's a Mario. That's a Mario. Do the Mario! It looks amazing. Best kind of tutorial? Oh, I love it. That, it is, that is the best kind of tutorial for sure. I've been lurking, finally got time to chill for a while. Hey, nice! Well, I appreciate the lurk, Danny. <laughs> Classic barrel throwing. Okay, so we're gonna have to bring these up with us, I think. <laughs> Take that, you giant stinking ape. Oh, 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 I'm not dead. Oh, ah! rude. I assume this is like a boss battle kind of dealio. Like we want to hurt him. <laughs> Take that donkey kong. Although I do kind of wonder if we could just like stack the barrels and then jump up there. Maybe not. Okay, so now we're learning about Switches? <laughs> DK is like, ah! You had to switch on both sides, son of a gun! Boss battles at the end of every world. Nice, okay, cool. I'm into that. Mario defeated. Is this the origin of, uh... Oh shoot, what do they call the city in, in Mario Odyssey? I can't remember, it's been a while. Oh! Well. Good old natural tutorials. <laughs> Can I take this? Oh gosh! Ooh! Okay, I don't think I'm allowed to steal this spring as much as I want it. Oh, what the heck? That's not... The ladybug we saw earlier. I think. Ah, oh, man. New Donk! That's right. I think that's... I think that's exactly it. New Donk City. Yeah, I wonder if that's like the inspiration for New Donk City. Okay, I can't pick these guys up. Uh, these guys are scary. I feel like I'm not allowed to touch them, otherwise I'll die. Uh, how do I flip this switch? Just, oh, here it is. Yeah, I could skip that one up. That's okay. Yeah, 
Give me that two up. It is nice having a lot of lives just at the ready. Nice, I keep getting the two ups. Okay, so this one's not moving, which tells me that that's exactly what this switch does. Nice. Oh, those are both going down. Oh, scary bug, don't touch. Ah! Hmm, okay. So maybe... Hmm. Oh! Oh. Okay. Can do maybe one of these trick jumps. Nice. Oh gosh. Ah. Go, go. Faster. Ah. Boom jams. Some of these levels start turning into real brain teasers. Oh, I fully believe that. It won't be long till I'm there. Oh, I see. This is just another one of the forms of the you got all the things. Nice. I'm getting better at this one. The hammer is such an obvious icon that it makes it a lot easier to consistently get that Mario. Okay, well, the fireballs don't look super friendly. Ah, but they're nice and slow. That's not so bad. Okay, so next, uh, hmm. I mean, we could just like put it right here, I guess. This little shortcut. Okay, that door is now open. Oof. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just skip the you got it this time. Ah, okay, never mind, I got it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that one up is worth skipping. Especially since we got the you got it. Ooh, a three up. course. When the three ups appear, that's when I get the one up. Oh, this one has three sets of four. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. This is the DK Jr. stage. This is, oh god. They're like robotic looking lizards now, or crocodiles. Ah, ah! But the roles have been reversed. Oh gosh. Oh! Whoa, ah! I love though that we can deliberately jump off of these vines. Oh god. Man, I was right there. Isn't it awesome? It's so good. It's such a natural extension of the arcade games. I love this so much. This is such a great idea. <laughs> ah, damn it. I made the same mistake. I just gotta time that better, but I I think I can make that jump safely. Get off of 
off of my vine. <laughs> oh, ah. Okay, okay. Slow and steady. I didn't make that jump. Alright, maybe I should just try going out from the ground. Hey! Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, no, that's not the follow. That's a sub! What is this, Danky King? It is Danky Kong. Mr. Bob Lovigans, how you doing, bud? This is Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. Also, thank you so much for 14 months. Holy cow! I can't believe it's been that long. How you doing, bud? I feel like it's been a while since I've actually asked you how, how you've been hanging in there. But I super appreciate the support, my friend. Da -da -da -da. No, I think I can make that jump. I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I should just go from the higher position. I thought I needed a little bit of, like, space above, but I think maybe... Oh, oh, God! Okay, well, I can fall off. Did not realize... Uh... Yeah, I'll just try going. I got closer when I went on the ground. Oh, what is Danky Kang? Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> you know, the, the, the big, big scary ape man. Ah! Okay, he's way better at hitting me this time around. Also, there was a cool speedrun strat for the last level with the plants. All the uh, at the start of the level, you immediately place the ladder in the front of the gate. It'll stop the uh, gate from closing, and you'll just immediately run to the key. That's amazing! Wow, I would not have thought that would work. Things are going really well? Good! I'm really happy to hear that. Well, hell yeah, I hope things continue to go really well. Oh gosh, oh, it saved my butt. Oh my god! Uh, here goes all those lives I've been hoarding. Oh my god. <laughs> Even a fraction of a second later and I would have been dead. Went through and cut out a bunch of recurring payments and you're one of like four streamers I kept. Oh. This is my fluffy kids, thank you so much. Seriously though, if if you're having a hard time affording things, please please don't resub. I want you to be able to live your life comfortably. I I do really appreciate the support though. I don't want to be a burden either though at the same time. Little tip. Not that I I'm not saying that you said that I am. I just I really appreciate that. Money's not tight? Okay. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm honored that I'm one of the, the four. Little tip, you can actually manually jump off those vines. Oh, maybe I was, I was trying to do the stretch and then jump. But maybe I, that was messing up the whole thing. Just never have time to hang out in streams anymore, but I get to lurk here quite often. Yes! Woo! Well, I appreciate the lurks too. It's a water level. Oh, good. Oh, man. Ah! Well, I feel like... Ah! I don't want to touch the fish. But I'm not sure what else to do. But I'm okay. Oh, 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 there's more space over here than I realized. I really hope I don't have, like, oxygen. Hmm. 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 
Hmm. I'm not sure where I want this, to be totally honest. Can I just jump through it? Maybe I can. Oh. Yep, that would make sense. Yeah! I don't know why I thought it would totally block my movement. DK, get your mug out of here. Well, single one up. Oh, I got a bunch of lives back. That must have been just from beating the stage. Ah. Alright, what does this do? Ah! Good. I mean, it seems like the right choice for now. Oh gosh, there's so many ladybugs. Leave me alone! Oh, 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 okay. Ooh. Of course. To get the, you got them all, I gotta go back through the whole thing. I didn't- I should have just dropped the key. That's okay. General rule of thumb is that the light gray platforms you can jump through and the dark gray block- black ones you can't. Got it. Okay, that- that's a pretty good rule of thumb. Okay, well, I feel like maybe I don't want to hit the switch this time? And then leech all these bugs. Of course, we don't really know what will change. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my gut on this one for now. Ooh. Whoa! Wait, we've got like a backflip jump? How did I do that? Whoa! Oh my god! I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, well, I think I have to flip this switch. But maybe I could do it in such a way that... Great. Fantastic. I was really hoping I could do it without these horrible bugs getting out. Well, maybe... Maybe I have to anyway? Hmm. What other walls appeared? None. I think I have to ride the ladybug across. Oh boy. Oh! Oh! Ah, shit! Boy, that's tricky. Okay. Actually works like the side flip in Mario 64. Wow, that's that's kind of cool. I did not expect that to be a thing. I guess. I guess that's not really going to do anything, will it? So that's the tricky thing here, is that... Yeah, can we, like, isolate? I might be able to isolate those... bugs on that wall. I don't know if that's what we want, but... It certainly is an option. Oops. I'll be able to get rid of that one. Maybe if I do it at just the right time. Yeah! 
Oh, well, I guess maybe that's what we want? I'm still not 100% sure. So we can't just, like, climb up here. Quite a few more acrobatics you can do in this game. You may discover them by accident or some of the between levels cutscenes might showcase them. Ah, that's that's a good point. I guess I should be paying attention during those cutscenes for exactly that kind of reason. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to... Leave this lever. This is going to change, though. Oh. Unless I need the... <laughs> I probably want the ladybugs to be the ones that are crawling on that wall. <laughs> That's funny. Mostly worked out. Got one of those scary books. Ah! Run out of time! No! Oh, that's awkward. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. I, I was doomed to fail on that one anyway. By the time I realized what the solution was. Nice! Ah, oh, well, not perfect, but I think that'll work. I hope. Go, 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 go. Yeah, perfect. Whoops. Okay. And we got that. Hello. Yeah, I think I might just go for it. Uh, oh, look at that. Hmm. How do we bring this down there? Oh no, I have to. I think I have to time it. Oh gosh. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, well, at least we don't have to go back that far. Oh! Whoa, I guess if we throw it off screen, that's, uh, that's it. Nice! There we go! Perfect. This one's the first real brain teaser level. I, f I felt it. It was good. Oh, nice, we're up to the boss. Okay, all right, that's fine. Of course, we've got the classic DK springs going. Oh, those are spikes. Did not see that until I was on top of them. That, uh, that checks out. Kinda weird that Mario rolls. Ooh! Oh no, ah, I messed up. I jumped way too late. Okay, so I, we just gotta follow those platforms back and forth. And 
gonna, gonna take my time with this. Oh boy. Oh, I see. Woo. Of course I can't reach. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh! It's pretty tough. Woo hey, good, good. Ugh. I ruined it! Right idea, though, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. So this next one will time poorly. The one after that should be a okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way over here. Woohoo! There we go! Oh, yeah! Ah, yeah, there's the, uh, the big jump. Or the, like, side jump. That was so close. That was very close. Yeah, give me those one-ups. Heck yeah. I will save, thank you very much. Now, let's do these last four levels. We'll go a little long. I'm, I'm having fun with this. Oh, boy. Oh, of course we have birds now. Hmm. Whoa! Oh. Dopey Chris. You can't land on scary bugs. Whew. Boy, that's narrow. Oh, I guess that's the top. Hmm. Oh, boy. Ah, gosh! Oh, boy, that was spicy. Dang it, bird. I had everything going exactly according to plan. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was just a dumb brain move. Wasting all those one-ups I just got. This is what I want. Ah, it's fine. Man, I'm so close to getting that. There's a one up here. Okay, what are we doing? What the heck? Okay. Well. Aw, oh, man. 
Okay, well, we know they can't chase us off the edge. I think that was the last one, right? <laughs> you stupid dummy. Aw, oh, that's not where I want you to be. Okay, good. I did get all the items. Wow, my time was actually really good on the first one. Better than I thought it would be. Give me a three up. No! Oh, ah. I like these guys. Yeah, they were pretty cute. I like those little, like, I don't even know what, they remind me of Pokemon, like Nidoran. <laughs> but they're kind of fun. Hmm, okay, well, what am I doing here? I feel like this is the smart boy move, right? Just bypass all of this? <laughs> oh, I see, but then there's the way down. Oh, gosh. Ah, okay, so it's all about the way down. That makes sense. Only missing the hat. Oh gosh! Oh yeah! Boy, what a panic! Hey, but I got all the items. All right, I'm at least not bad at this one usually. Two one-ups. Not bad. Ah, yes. Gotta get that boss battle. I assume this is the one that's gonna stop. Yeah, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, I thank you for leaving this barrel behind. Mr. Danky Cam. Whoa! <laughs> Piece of cake. It was a very hectic fall. <laughs> I was I was panicking, I promise. Yeah, that was a pretty good time. Do, 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 do. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Dang, Mario. Yes. As long as we're ending these maps with more lives than we started, I'm considering us in a good place. Absolutely, I will save. All right, next up we've got... Ooh, a ship. That's pretty exciting. All right, well, this is probably a good point to call it for the night. It looks so much better than the first four. Oh, yes. Certainly, certainly more involved. I would 100% agree with that. But this is where we'll wrap things up for the night. Thank you so much, folks, for hanging out tonight. I hope you all had a good time running through. We went through a lot. DK Jr., Game & Watch DK Jr., Donkey Kong 2, uh, DK3, we did Donkey Kong Hockey, Donkey Kong Circus, some of Donkey Kong Game Boy. I feel like I'm missing one somewhere in that mix. Considering that the first week we uh, only went through Classic DK, which to be fair, there was a lot going on with that one. I feel like we just skyrocketed progress through this franchise it's pretty good but uh thanks for streaming thank you guys for hanging out let's go find someone to go throw the raid over to who's still online at this point oh that's right today's saturday we got 
plenty of time. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> I have no idea what. You know what? Let's go through the raid over to uh to someone else in retro. I feel like I should make it a point to uh to go raid retro streamers a little bit more often. Or just people that I I always raid the same people over and over again, so it's probably good for me to switch it up sometimes. So let's see. Uh, can we go through the raid over to got some Zelda randomizer? We got Game show NES games. Oh, that person has way too many viewers. Not for a raid from us. I like to throw folks over to smaller streams. Donkey Kong practice games. Ooh, well, this person's playing it literally on the arcade cabinet. I don't know if they're speedrunning or if they're just going for score, but you know what? I feel like this is absolutely topical. They're playing it on a legit arcade machine. I feel like it doesn't get much better than that, right? I actually did not expect to see anyone else playing Donkey Kong. Because I feel like it's not something I see a ton on Twitch. It was a lot of fun to chill out, too? Well, thank you, MD. MDJ. I, uh... Hope you all have a good night. We're back Monday, finishing Jack X and then starting Daxter, which I'm very excited for because Daxter is a fun game. Um, we're back on Tuesday with uh, more Final Fantasy IX. We're making good progress now that we don't have a busted game disc. <laughs> and then we'll be back on Sunday, or no, Saturday, eh, not Sunday. We'll be back on Saturday with more Donkey Kong uh, on the Game Boy. And depending on if we end early, then we'll start what is next after Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Country is after this. Wow, I can't believe it only took us like three streams to get to Donkey Kong Country. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Uh, so yeah, we'll be jumping into DKC after that, which I'm super excited for. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. On and welcomes you, blah, 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 the usual boring salutations. All right, folks. We'll catch you later. See you on Monday, and uh, get some good rest, everyone. Bye, everyone.